High Ground Gaming. A big thank you to our sponsor, Gray Matter Gaming. Check out their mats. They're pretty cool. Welcome to High Ground Gaming. It's Welcome. a fun one. Get to play with Brad today. Woo! And uh, we're playing on Brad's table for uh, a change of scenery here. So we got a cool battle plan. This is one of the new ones, Twists and Turns. It's really a strange one compared to all the other ones that are out there. You get a L here that coming all the way up to the points of the objectives and then an L there for the opponent's deployment, which in this case this will be Brad's zone with the Beast of Chaos versus of course Slanesh today. And there's a, a lot of bodies on the board so there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. It's going to be great. There's also a lot of bodies hiding in the shadows, if you will. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> Indubitably. <That>. Indubitably. <laughs> So the uh, way this one works is there's five objectives. There's one, two in the corners, which is kind of weird, and then three across the middle. And the way it scores is score one, score two if you hold two, and then score one if you hold more active objectives. And here's where it gets weird. At the end of each player's turn, after points are scored, we have to roll a dice for each objective. And if you roll a one through three, it becomes inactive. Now, if you have a Glacian Champion on it, it's only if you roll a 1 to 2. So champions are important for that. On a 4, it stays active. And then it gets even weirder. <laughs> so if it goes inactive, and then it goes to the opponent's turn, they then, at the start of their turn, and of course you do it at the start of your turn, roll for objectives that you control that are inactive, and you can reactivate them. <laughs> yes. The, the key is for, for that you have to control it. So... If you don't control an inactive objective, you don't get the chance to roll to reactivate. So this one's going to be really cool. Um, have not played it yet, and I've definitely not played against this brand new Beast of Chaos book. So, Brad, why don't you tell us about Beasts? I'm excited. Uh, so I will say this is my first time playing Beasts. I just uh, traded for this army. I'm excited to get it on the table. Um, it is not as beautiful as I'd like it to be yet, but it will be. Um, here pretty soon. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through my, my units, uh, my, my list. I'm playing Dark Walkers, which is going to allow me to teleport as long as I'm within nine with my Ungor Raiders and my um, Ungors. That's all I really have right now. I'm using with what, what I got. Um, i am got my good old Herdstone sitting in the corner like, uh, you know, anybody would do tactically because that's where it should be. Coward. 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 <laughs> Just go after it, if you will. Um, and then I'm rocking... I, I got really excited. This new Chaos Giant has uh, got me really excited. That's so weird. It looks just like this Chaos Giant. Yes, it is just like that Chaos Giant. Um, and then uh, in my Line Breaker unit, I'm going to have my General here. Um, he is going to be equipped... He's a Beast Lord. He's going to be equipped with this uh, Slither Rack Helm. Um, so I really wanted to try the Slitherwack Helm. It gives me, if I charge on a 2-up, they fight last. I mean, who doesn't want to have somebody fight last? Uh, and then I'm going to try out Bestial Cunning. So I can uh, drop one unit uh, from from my uh, deployment. I have to pick a unit that can come in within 7. I'm going to pick this this bad boy right here. Oh, do you pick it now? Or I do you pick, pick it, it when you do I it? I have to pick it now. Oh, it's cool. So it's, uh, what is that, a Gorgon? Yep, it's a Gorgon. Cool. So he's going to be able to come in within 7, anywhere on the board, not within 9 of the board edge, so surprise. Um, it was going to be this unit, I was planning on keeping these these big this big unit of Bulgors, but... Uh, Bestigors? Bestigors, but um, yeah, decided, probably need some bodies on the table right now, and uh, he's going to get to choose who gets to go first, so I wanted to kind of have the bodies on the table. Um, so the next thing is he's going to have Fueled by Gareth Rage. Um, which is going to let him come back on a 3-up if you murder him, which with your army looks pretty murderable. Uh, <laughs> next I have the Gorgon hiding in the shadows. Excited to try him out. Uh, I also have the Jabber Scythe uh, coming in, just kind of looking at Sigvald over here, <laughs> an entire army by himself. Uh, excited with his new monstrous action. Uh, then I also have another Beast Lord over here. He's going to be rocking in my Warlord Battalion which is going to give him an extra artifact, which is the Bleeding Garl Snaff, which is going to let me, if he's within six of an objective, uh, I roll a dice for every unit, and on a two-up, that unit's going to take D3 Mortal Wounds. Um, no effect on Beast of Chaos units. Oh. So everybody within six of that objective will take Mortal Wounds on a two-up, D3. Um, so I'm really excited to try that out. Cool. I'm also rocking two Grey 
Bray Shamans. Uh, my first Grey Bray Shaman over here uh, has Vicious Strangle Thorns, which is going to stop piling in, which I don't think is too effective against your army just from the standpoint, like, I'm looking at an entire unit of all five, five Models, I so. got one unit of 10. One unit of 10, all right. Uh, and then my other Great Bray Shaman is going to be rocking the Tendrils of Atrophy. Uh, this is going to be within 12. Uh, I can pick a unit, and they're going to take an extra damage for each successful attack until my next hero. Yeah, that's base, a good spell. Which is a very good spell. Uh, hiding off the board, I got my Ungors. They're, you know, they're just going to kind of be hiding out, uh, see where we can come in. Um, and then I have two units of Bestigors. Uh, Bestigors, sorry. Bestigors. I have... 20 Bestigors here, really excited to try them out. And then I have the 10 Bestigors here, which are going to be within my my uh, my general, which is going to let them all get one extra attack. So this unit is going to be like almost close to this unit. How do they get the extra attack? By being within 12 of my general. I thought you took the command trait. Oh, wait, no, I didn't take that. Yes, I take the drop within 7. Okay. Sorry. I was going back and forth on it. Um, I am trying out the Ungor Raiders. They are going to be off the board. I have a unit of, of 20 of them. I'm um, excited to try them out. Uh, a little shooting as a Chaos player that doesn't play any shooting. This is going to be, you know, some shooting for me, uh, <laughs> which I always n never have access to unless I play Zinch. But, uh, yeah, really excited for this new book. I've uh, been diving in it a lot and uh, excited to try this out. So, What battalions did you bring? So I have my line breaker, which is going to be the general and the gargant, the gorgon, and the jabberscythe. So that's going to give them all out attack or all out defense for free. Once per game. Once per game. Cool. And then I'm rocking the Warlord Battalion with my Grey Bray Shamans, both of them, and this uh, Beast Lord. And then the Ungors, which is going to give him the extra artifact. And then I'm locking, oh, surprise, Galatian Sharpshooters. I have, these guys can shoot your heroes. Ooh, um, ooh, 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 ooh. And that's all the Beast Agors and... and the, uh, the yeah, it's such a weird interaction that you can put melee units into basically a battalion for shooting just to unlock one unit being able to shoot at Galatian It's important champs. though. Like if, it, oh, basically, it's, it's I cool. built my list and I was like, oh, I might as well. So yeah. went for it. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my list. Cool. Well, I'm excited. I'm playing a whole new flavor of Hayden Knights of Slanesh compared to the other lists that I typically play. And I'm playing uh, the Faultless Blade sub-faction which came from Host of the Ever Chosen. Uh, basically, my general, who is this Lord of Pain here, he will be able to give off a wholly within 12 bubble of a 6-inch pylon, which is pretty uh, spicy. And then he has two command traits, because a um, this particular sub-faction is a pretender sub-faction, and that allows you to take two command traits. So uh, I took the one that allows me to reroll battle shock tests for pretender's units that are wholly within 9 inches of him, um, not sure that's the best one, but wanted to go that. And then his other one is the one that allows for the six-inch pylon. And then for his um, aspect of the champion, I gave him leadership at the alpha, which is the one that gives the free command to three units once per game. And then he's going to be rocking the artifact that comes with the sub-faction. And that artifact is going to be the contemptuous brand, which adds one to wound rolls for his attacks when he targets a hero. And then the sub-faction also has an interesting command ability that allows me to ignore the first two wounds on a unit in any phase. Okay. Which can be handy, especially for like keeping him alive or yeah. whoever else, because just ignore the first two wounds. So um, moving on from there, I have a ton of pain bringers. I've been so excited. I just got these painted up. Uh, Big Mike painted some of them. I painted some of them. He did the majority, but we got 30 of these bad boys all in units of five. So every single unit here is a unit of five golden boys. I've been so excited to get them on the table. Um, I did bring a battle regiment. Most of the army that could fit was in the battle regiment, but I'm still seven drop because I have so many units. I have, I think, 13 units in this army, which wow. is great for depravity. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. Uh, got a unit of Furies sitting in the back here. They're just coalitioned in. Also, funny enough, I have two Slangor units, and they are not the Hedonites ones. They're the new Beasts of Chaos ones that are coalitioned in. I feel like they should turn on you and yeah. attack you, backstab you real yeah, quick. Yeah, back, backstab join me. Join their, their rightful brother. The, the hilarious thing is they don't have the Hedonites keyword, so they don't get the exploding sixes. 
but they're, uh, they're definitely better than the 110 point version that comes in Slanesh. So I'm taking the 130 point because now they get to fight twice once per game. Yeah. And uh, I've been wanting to get tra get them going. Mike painted these, and they look absolutely fantastic. So they're on the table. Their first debut. And then uh, I also have a Chaos Gargant, who was in the Battle Regiment. Uh, I mean, my, an extra minus one rend. Why not? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think he's a great ally for Slanesh. There's really not a ton of high rend in the army, so that kind of helps things out. And he's got Sigvald next to him, who is also in the Battle Regiment. And Sigvald's going to be able to benefit, hopefully, from that extra rend. Although most of your stuff's over there, but you still have stuff to come in, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, that corner was a little scary, so I kind of... Yeah, and I, I really had like a ton of bodies. I got a <laughs> unit of 10 Twin Souls here. They're in the new battalion, the battle or the uh, Galician Command with the Lord of Pain and them, so they can fight at the same time together as long as I keep them wholly within six of him. So uh, that'll be interesting with the six inch pile in. <laughs> how, do, how do I maintain yeah. that? But they do fight at the same time, so cool. Um, the six inch pile only works if I'm in combat, so it's not like I can start outside of six and then pile into right, combat. Right. So I still have to make my charges. Um, things are kind of spread out because of his dropping in and the seven inch. So everything's blocked out where he can't drop in anywhere with anything in turn one. Um, I'm going to give away the secret. You're going to be taking the first turn. I think it's the smarter way to go here, maybe. Right. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to think about it probably for a yeah. quick, quick second. Well, because well, this is such an interesting one. Because yeah. once you get on the objectives, you can get up on points and then like turn them off. That's true, too. I so that. if I turn them off on you, then you could be really SOL going into the next round. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know what the right choice is. Um, I also have the Contorted Epitome. He's got Hysterical Frenzy. That's a Mortal Wounds spell within 18 inches of him. Um, D3 Mortal Wounds for every six I roll on it. So pretty good one. Um, definitely good into the uh, Abestigors. I think it's 18. Let me double check here. So either 18 or 12. Yeah, wholly within 18. So one enemy unit, wholly within 18. Okay. Well, Roll a dice for each model in the unit. Each six, six is, is D3 mortal wounds. Nice. Yeah, that's one of the uh, better Slanesh spells. So uh, that's my list, and we're going to jump into this game. Um, I think I already changed my mind, um, but the problem is if I go first, he's going to be able to drop in my back lines, depending on how I move out. Haha, I'm already so, messing with your brain. Brain brain melting already. I do want to say before we get started, um, it would be awesome if we, uh, if you guys enjoy this, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, throw some comments in there. Let us know if there's anything you want to see us play. Uh, we really enjoy doing this. We enjoy the, our community that we have here in Michigan. And we're trying to branch out. Um, we're also putting on a tournament in... End of April. End of April. A April 29th and 30th. It's our first big two-day event we just bought a ton of new terrain that hasn't even come in yet and it's coming in all new mats and we're gonna be giving away the champion's gonna get a full-blown real stormcast shield yeah full-size stormcast shield from metal of yeah the gods <laughs> he just did the design so it's on our uh, facebook page so check that out and you know we really appreciate everybody that's watching we we do this you know for you guys but for our ourselves too and oh yeah, we love it so. we absolutely <laughs> love the game and the community and that's why we started doing tournaments and we started doing this we just want to support the community so yeah. anything that you guys can do to help us that would be amazing just and uh let's jump into this game all right well we will see you back at another later time but one second for you battle round uno slanesh turn one i did decide to take it I'm going to try and jump on some objectives and turn them off here. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of the game, I guess. <laughs> because, I mean, that's just how this one works. Um, go through my hero phase, the battle tactics, cunning maneuver. I just need to get this dude on that objective, and then I will get the battle tactic. So mm -hmm. that's guaranteed. He can move without even running. And then from there, i got to cast some spells. So go with Mystic Shield. I will get that on a 7. I don't think you're within 30, but let's find yeah. out. You are not. This one? Where's that one? Right here. Mm. Where is he? Right here. I'm over his base. No, you're not. No. I'm, I'm measuring right from here. Is that over his base? Uh, there. Yeah, you're short. It's, it's, like, it's like right here. Look at this. Okay. <clears throat> so, Mystic Shield. I'm just going to put it on himself. And then, Arcane Bolt. And I'll get Arcane Bolt. So, he's got a bolt stored up and a Mystic Shield. 
Don't know what I'm going to do with the bolt. Wish I could bolt my own stuff for depravity. <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, I'm gonna try does it and... say enemy unit? It does, yeah. It does. Yeah. So I'm going to try... Oh, yeah, believe me, I've looked it up. Yeah, but... <laughs> That's why people play the burning head a lot of times. Ah, uh, yeah. Because then it you... just explodes. Well, especially head. in this list, I thought about it. Like, for 20 points. With, with, thir with 13 dudes, I mean, I'd have to like really clump them together. But technically speaking, if I brought the burning head and I get the spell off, I could have 13 depravity turn one. <laughs> and then summon 30 demonettes or a keeper. Wow. <laughs> Which would be pretty interesting to try. Yep. Um, I'm going to hurt him with the feign. Um, not it's sure it's going to work because he ignores on twos. Oh, oh I yeah. rolled the one. That's yes, the one time I don't want to ignore it. Uh, it hurts him, and then I roll a dice. Oh, you ignored the... Uh... I did not ignore I rolled a one. I'm saying you... Uh... <laughs> I'm saying it just, oh, I thought you were rolling to do the ability, but it just happened. No, you just get, you mortal wound a hero within six, okay. and then you roll a dice, and you got the one. Um, I got a one for his ignore, mm -hmm. which he ignores mortal wounds yeah, on twos, and then from there, the feign, what it does is it, uh, you roll a dice again, which I rolled a two on that roll, mm -hmm. and the two for that roll, I think it goes off on a two, so on a two, you add one to hit rolls until your next hero phase, so huh. that's all it does, so he's got plus one to hit. Uh, he's not really going to be in combat, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's it for the hero phase, so I've got a crap load of models to move. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Well, we'll be back. All right, so moved the, a bunch of models around. Did a lot of running, ran all this stuff, pushed that way. Gargant's up there. Sigvald moved a little bit. Fury's kind of moved this way. Still have the 7-inch drop-in block out for this entire section of the board which is a giant pain in the butt and requires lots of measuring. <laughs> Auto six to the, these guys on their run with four command points. So I have one command point. Um, we forgot to do our heroic actions on camera. We both rolled it for a command point. He yep. didn't do any of the new beast uh, stuff yet. Yep, I got uh, one on my general for an extra command point. So I'm at you rolled a, yeah, he, he rolled like a four or five. I rolled a three, so I did not get mine. Um, these guys are here. And then the twin souls and these guys moved up. Uh, I'm going to try and make a charge here, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Eight inch charge. Just get some depravity of some kind going and try and keep those bestigors where they are instead of on the objective. <laughs> and uh, my shooting phase, it's done. So um, actually, does that guard can't chuck rocks? I know the regular ones do. No, they get that ability from their book, I believe. I'd, but he might not, be I don't know. It might be on the command. But he's a chaos one, so he might be different. Yeah, he might be. We'll find out. I'm going to say, nope. He has a massive club, mighty kick, and a headbutt. No, nope. yeah. He does not. So uh, we are good to go to charge phase. Yep. So uh, just have the one charge. Nothing else is in range to I, even I, really I, actually, declare I, uh, it. I guess I, I, I didn't realize you were within nine. I could have redeployed. But I don't think. Do you want to redeploy? Is that okay? I don't I care. have four command points. There's no way I use them all. Just make it a little harder for you. So it's a nine inch charge. So let's see if we can get a nine. It's a three. Um, kind of want to keep my command point because I only have one and I'll have two going into his turn. So i um, probably going to need them. There's lots of things that I can do. So I will keep that. Not worth the reroll. Would have been fun to get it, but. And I use my free one. We'll, we'll keep the action for later. So. Yeah, let's just not get near each other. I'll just let you get all the points. Uh, score my battle tactic. That's done. I hold four, four. objectives. And now um, I'm going to score five points. So it's going to be five to nothing. Hedon Knights of Slanesh. And then we got to roll for all of these um, okay. objectives so here. you roll for the ones that you have? So at the end of each player's turn, the player whose turn is taking place must roll a dice for each active objective they control. Okay. So I control four of them. So I'm going to roll a dice for each one. I'm just going to go in a line yep. this way. So starting in the corner here. I rolled a three, Stay. so that one is inactive. So this one's well, inactive. If a one or two makes them inactive. If a Galician champion's on it, a one, a or, one two. or a two. Oh, okay. So that's inactive. So this one is inactive in the corner here. Okay. So this one has a Galician champ, which is my general so on it. Two. So um, I rolled a five, so okay. that one's good. It stays active. So the one in the middle, I rolled a six, so that one's active. The one on over there. That one is inactive. So... That one's inactive, and that corner is inactive. So, active, active. That corner is also active. <laughs> okay. Such a weird battle plan. But uh, we're gonna go to Beasts of Chaos, turn one. You 
got me exactly not be able to come in. Yes, yeah, so I did block out you being able to jump into that objective from reserve unless you want to drop your Gorkin over there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to go to Beast of Chaos. Uh, come back to Beast of Chaos. We'll see you guys in a second. All right, we're back to Beast of Chaos, turn, turn one. Um, I'm going to go into my heroic actions. I'm going to go for a command point, an extra command point on my general. And I will not get it on three. I'm going to do it with my guy here. Same heroic action. I uh, forgot to mention I have one depravity at the end of last turn because that dude took a wound. Yep. I rolled a one, so I'm not going to happen. We are the worst spe speech givers. We just cannot rally our troops. No. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do spell casting. I'm going to go for plus one damage on this unit right here. They're within 12 of me. Tendrils of atrophy. Tendrils of atrophy. You're going to atrophy my golden hero. Well, they're not heroes, but they feel like heroes in my mind. Because they're, in they're gold. all here. I mean, they're the golden. They're in golden here. armor. I'm looking for a seven here. Or we got the new high ground gaming dice that we just got in. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see. We're gonna be selling one, these at the tournament. One symbol. Pretty cool. Seven. 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 You didn't seven. Move you're, still out, you're out of range because. Oh you didn't yeah. Move. <laughs> I didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> got them. So all right. They're gonna be plus one to damage. I'm gonna give them a little box. A little box is plus one to damage box. Ooh. They got a gift. They got a gift. The gift is <laughs> it's, it's a present. It's a present. Um, and then we're going to go Mystic Shield uh, over here. I might do it on the Jabber Scythe, and I might do it on the big block. I'll get a nine. Uh, and you didn't move, so... I, I did not move. We just established so, I did not move. So these guys are going to get a barrel. The barrel of Mystic Shield. Um, they're just going to carry a barrel around with them. All right, so that is my... Heroic phase. Those are all my spells. Um, I'm gonna go into movement, and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So I am gonna use my ability with my Ungor Raiders, and I'm really excited. This is one of the things that has me most excited about this book. But I'm gonna pick a point on the battlefield, um, on the edge of the battlefield, and I'm gonna shoot from my secret location. Um, I'm gonna pick right here behind this little little boy back here he's hiding and i'm gonna rip 40 shots into that guy i thought you said it was 41 41 i'm sorry i'll definitely need that extra one so i have 20 dice here so i'll roll them twice and i can't all out defense and i can't out all out attack i do have mystic shield though so oh he has mystic shield on himself yeah i gave, I gave it to him the first turn oh, i put nice. it on himself i didn't realize that you know, i didn't want him to die right off the bat he's got an arcane bolt too he shall die with his arcane bolt. So, so these will be fours and fours. I'll be rolling this twice. Um, how many wounds does he have? He Five. has six left. Six left? Oh, yeah, because you hurt yourself. Yep. Um, all right, so six left. Let's see if we can do this. So we're looking for fours. It's one of the times that low rolling came in handy. Yes. All right, so that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits so far. Exactly average. And then let's keep track of them for you here. Okay. I think this is one extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ten again. You were the most average man I mean, I've they ever met. They call me average Joe. <laughs> uh, and then one extra. This is the, the oh, they got the HGG it, it symbol. It, it hits. hits. So that'll be 21 wounds. 21 hits. So you 21 wounds. Going on to wound rolls. So I'm just going to grab one extra dice. And uh, these will be four. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five. Oh. That'll be five. Ten. Ten. Exactly ten. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> ten, 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 ten. <laughs> I mean, you you couldn't be more average, Brad. <laughs> so, so more, so. Ten save rolls, saving on fours. Yep. So, see what happens. Nice roll. Um, I had a good roll. Uh, three taken. Okay. So he will have uh, three remaining. Should have not shot him once I realized he had a mystic. All right. You could have changed your mind. I know I could have. Um, but I didn't. I still want to try to kill him. 
I mean, it's uh, not a bad idea. You get rid of him, it opens up my entire backfield. Well, I was going to drop in your backfield with my Gorgon and start eating Re some Wreaking havoc. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm still excited that I got to do that. So now you're going to actually move. Now I'm going to go to action. Because that's the start of movement. Yes, yeah, so that's the start <laughs> of movement. We'll be right back. All right. We have done movement. Uh, I have pushed up. I have six on this objective, so I'm going to take that. I have, you ran to get there. I had to run to get there, so they're not doing anything else this turn. Um, I pushed up here. Um, thinking about charging over here. I did take my battle tactic this round. Was Aid the wilderness. Aid the wilderness. I have to get two units into cover, which I ran outside of your territory. Outside of territory. Which that is barely outside. Yeah. It. <laughs> so I ran up. Uh, this guy got a huge six-inch run, so he ran up. Uh, and then he just kind of jumped down here, so they're both kind of hiding out in cover. Hiding yeah, in the and that's like the be the beast tactics are good. There, there's some very there's some good easy ones. good ones. Like that one's a super easy one on most boards, I think. And then um, the other cool thing um, that we didn't talk about was the reactivation of objectives. It didn't happen this turn because he didn't control any. So you have to control the inactive objective in order to, at the start of the turn, roll to see if you can reactivate it. So, you brought your... I did bring my Ungor Raiders in. I'm going to try to get rid of this Gargant. I don't want the extra rend. Uh, it sounds awful. Only I can have extra rend. I don't <laughs> think I'm going to kill him because I couldn't get all of my guys in. So, six six guys are going to be shooting into this unit here closest to the Jabber Scythe. So, we're going to see what we can do there. And then, um, yeah, so everything pushed up. I will all-out defense the Gargant. Yep. <coughs> um, so, the 12 shots will be going into here. So we'll start with those. Painbringers do not get their plus one save in shooting. It's only in combat. So these will be on a regular four up save. Oh, I forgot I could all out shoot. You can, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll out shoot because I, so, I have so many commands. They, 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 have they have a leader? leader. They have okay. Leader. So I picked up one three, the other two were ones. So okay. that, that was a three. Um, no reason not to because yeah. this unit probably is getting nuked. And then these will be fours. So we'll have four saves, no run. Into the These pain, bringers. pain bringers. Okay. Uh, four up save. I'll save three of them. So take one damage. Okay. And then math. Uh, the rest of the unit will be 12 minus 40, 38. 28? 28 shots. You did 12, right? Yeah. So 29 shots, right? 20, yeah, we'll plus the one, yeah. There's point. So the Gargan will be saving on fours. And you have threes. And I have one command point remaining after that. Okay. Wow, you got your mileage out of that all out of attack. Yeah. And fours. So that'll be. That one's fine. Uh, yeah. And cool. I still have nine to shoot. You still have nine more? Nine more, yeah. Okay. So that'll be one, How many two, is three, that so four, far? five, six, seven, eight saves so far. Eight. And okay. then, so that's eight. I'll add one. So we have nine. Three, three, threes. Come on, Gargant, take some arrows to the fights. <laughs> I, I do have one Gargant that has an arrow jammed in his mouth, and his, uh, but my buddy Pat has them. They're the actual painted ones because he plays them in turns. Two more? Two more. So, ten. So ten, ten again? <laughs> ten is the number of chaos beasts. It's the number of the day. I have a, a four-year-old and a one-year-old almost two next month. Right. So when I say it's the number of the day, I am 100% quoting Sesame Street. Uh, ah, 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 ah. How many times <laughs> must you be late? Nice. Uh, my saves have been good. Nice. I four, missed four of them. So Take four arrows to Save six. Miss four. It doesn't bracket him. I don't believe he brackets at six, I believe. I have no idea. I'll have to look. My goal was to bracket him, so but that's okay. Four take. We're just adding to the stupid summoning. That's what we're doing this turn. Um, um, he brackets at six. Brackets at six, so we didn't get there. All right. So we will then go to charges. Now, my question here is do I charge or do I wait for this next turn to see if I double you? You have tendrils of at atrophy on me. That's so true. You are getting your plus one damage. I got a, I got a gift-wrapped present here. Yep. I don't know if that means you want to do it or not. But then you can pile Because that'll, that'll bring in this entire blob. They're two inch reach or one inch reach? They're two inch reach, and I forgot to mention they have a weird rule. 
at the start of the game, uh, the first battle round, you choose whether they reroll their hit rolls or they have a five up ward. So I almost nine times out of ten always choose the five up ward for battle round one, which is what I did. So they're on a five up ward now. Battle round two, they'll be rerolling all their hit rolls. He also has a command that lets them reroll all their hit rolls. As sad as it sounds, I might just sit and see what happens on the next turn. Uh, because I don't want to lose any units, and my yeah. rend doesn't come in until next turn. So if you take the turn, I'm still going to be plus one to attack those guys, so maybe you don't charge me with them, you charge me with the other guys. But well, the twin souls are going into combat one way or the other. So yeah, maybe that's what, they, that's what they do. You know what? We come here to battle. <laughs> I should play smart. I mean, I don't know if you want to charge them. It's but my, well, my Gargant can charge too. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the right move is here. It's well, a, I, I gave I you like, a hard conundrum. I would like to get him into combat too, because I can. when he charges, he turns off. Fight la he turns fight last on. Um, yeah, that's the only problem with your battle tactic. Exactly. Because so I took can't. a tactic. It, had I not taken that tactic, I would have been able to maybe get everything in and then make him fight last. But um, I don't want to leave it to a risk of a roll. But my guys fight. What's three inches? We're gonna we're gonna be right back. I don't want to take your time. We'll be right back real quick. It was a tough decision, and as much as I want to test out these units, I also want to not just throw them to the wind. Yeah, um, I mean we talked it through, and like I've played six inch Nash pile enough. In. The six inch pile and this whole unit of ten is getting into whatever comes this way, and they're gonna blow it up. Like that's yeah. what they do. So I'm gonna hope for the I'm gonna hope for the double here, and. Uh, just that's gonna be my turn. So uh, we'll we'll go to um, charges. What is your scoring? I pass. I'm gonna take one here. So you score one there. Two here, and two. we're gonna tie, right? Um, I hold. This is off. You only hold. One. Yeah, you yeah. only have one. I yeah, because it's only it's the I, active. I only I hold, hold one, one, so you hold more. So, so I'll get my you'll, you'll score three plus your battle tactic. So we'll be five. tied up at five to five, and then we have to roll for turning objectives off. So. Because the, so, the yeah. turning them on doesn't happen until the turn starts. So it's just for the active, so you have to roll for that one. I do have one model on this objective, just so you're aware, if you try to leave it. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> one guy. <laughs> um, so we'll start here. What am I looking for? Uh, I, I don't know if you want it. Well, it's on. So It's on. There you go. And, and we're using these little markers to designate what's on. So this is on still. Um, I don't do anything with this because nope. I don't control it. No, nope. but you control that one. I control this one. So you roll for that one. And that one's off. Cool. So that one goes away. And one cool unit that could definitely sit on that objective. And then um, end of each player's turn, the player whose turn is taking place. So this one we don't roll for. Yep. And then that one is off, so we don't roll for that one either. Okay. So now we have off, 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 on, on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which makes whoever wins this priority roll having an interesting decision as to if they take the turn or not. I got a five. I got a four. You got a four. Um, I'm going to mull this one over yeah, real quick. this is quick. definitely an interesting decision. Battle round two? All right, I'm taking the turn. I think it's the best thing to do. I couldn't really decide. It's a, it's a hard choice on this battle plan. So we have to roll for the um, start of the hero phase before I pick my battle tactic I'm going to roll to find out what is active and what is not so right here in the corner if I roll a four that one will become active again uh, I rolled a five so this one is active do you have one of those markers mm -hmm. so this one's active and then the one in the middle you control so I don't roll for that so that's it so I reactivated one objective um, oh this one that one's not active so um, on a four? Yes. So put a marker there. That one's active as well. So now we got four that are active. So that's important weird. for my battle tactic, which is what we were just talking about. Um, I'm going to do gaining momentum. If they had not reactivated, it would have been a really hard choice to pick that one. But now that I basically control three, I'm good to do it. So I'm going to try and kill these bestigors. So, oh. so if I kill the bestigors, then I will get my battle tactic. From there, we're going to see if I have some range here. I do not have range for Hysterical Frenzy, so um, we're going to roll for um, Mystic Shield. I get an 8, and I'll keep that. He does re-roll casting rolls, but you're, you're in range now. Yeah, so go ahead. Um, let me see which one I want. He's the only caster you have right now? Yeah. Oh. I just want to see if he's also in range. Yeah, he's definitely in range. Yep. 
So it doesn't matter. Um, I'll use this one on top of the, the orb because that's giving him extra magical dispel ability. Cool. Or not. No. So Mystic Shield will go on that unit there. And then um, roll for his uh, War Scroll spell because that's a 24 inch range. I will get an 8. Okay, I'll try to unbind it. Uh, it's no on the unbind. So 24 inches, definitely out of range there. These guys are in range, so it's D3 units. It doesn't matter, they're the only ones in range, so. D3 units that, oh, is it just within 24? D3 units, I reroll hit rolls of one, yep, but so they're the only ones within 24, so. Oh. I'll be rerolling hit rolls of one against them, which I'm not going into combat with them this turn, so. Yeah, it doesn't make sense though. doesn't make any either. sense, they will just blow those <laughs> that unit of five. Up. I mean, I'd love to see it if you want to do it. <laughs> I'm, you know what, I might do it for depravity. I don't maybe think you'll have will. anything... Oh, you'll get me with depravity. Yeah, I'll get you with some depravity. Well, maybe. It depends on activation. Yeah, but then you have to activate them first. Uh, I mean, I could just kind of, like, tag over here. They're all two-inch reach, though. Yeah, two-inch reach. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's... Pile. I don't think that's smart. Hey, who said Warhammer you had to be smart? Um... Yeah, you don't have to be, I guess. You just got chuck, chuck. They still have chuck. tendrils of atrophy. Yeah, so they're, you know, maybe you don't bring them in because you might. Um, heroic actions, are you going to do any of the special beast ones this turn? Um, mine is going to be uh, command point. And I will get it. So that's going on my general. So over there. And then what is your regular one going to be before you do your special one? You gonna do the command point again? Um, I have three command points. Do I need? You don't. You I don't need to heal anything. I'm not even using command points at this point. You're not good. You don't need oh, best day ever. Oh, can I yet. do D three to myself and then heal under its? Because there's no. What's the order say on your book? There's no order, is there? In your hero phase, you can out one of the horror actions from the table below, that is on the battlefield, in addition to any other actions. I don't. Before resolving sure. the effect of that heroic action. Do D three mortal wounds? That I don't see why not. All right, so I'm gonna try to do D six. I think I'm within twelve of your scary boys. These guys? Yeah, you're within twelve of them. They don't have their ward this turn. Cool. So I'm gonna go for that. Um, I'm gonna do D three to myself. Okay. Uh, this shaman up here. Yep. So three mortal wounds. Takes three. Uh, let me get an actual different dice. Yellow die. Let's take three. Counting up, right? That's what you like. Yeah. All right. And I mean, then, that's how the monsters are put in the game, is yeah. counting up. <laughs> um, so they're going to take D6 mortal wounds. I wish I would have rolled that 6 for this moment. Which I will! Two. Two mortal wounds. Kill a guy. You said D6, right? Oh, you're right. So three. You rolled a 3? Yeah, 3 Okay. Okay, so that'll pop a dude. We'll just pop the guy in the back here. Okay. And then uh, one dude will have a wound on him. Damn it, I'm giving you more depravity. So, um, decent exchange, 3 for 3. Um, and then I'm going to try to heal my guy. Because that seems just so. What's super his cool. bravery? I don't know. He probably doesn't have great bravery. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's beast chaos <laughs> seven. <laughs> Roll under a seven, or match it. Nine is not under. Nine is not under. The one time you want to be a little roller. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna move my units. Cool. We're gonna come back. All right. Uh, everything moved. I'm not worried about my backfield anymore. These guys are here to kind of try and screen the Gorgon that's coming in. And then all that stuff moved up. We're going to try and blow up the Raiders over there so they're not annoying anymore. Uh, these guys moved over here, just setting up to maybe desecrate on a later turn. These guys moved forward. You redeployed. Um, you moved so that you would, I wouldn't be able to charge into the Beast Lord and not into the Gargant. So I'll have to be out like the two-inch range won't be able to reach over. Even though he's in combat, so I'll probably blow them up, and then he's going to pile in and do something to me, something, which is going to hopefully. hurt. Hopefully. See and then the uh, I took this objective back just by moving these guys onto it. So I do hold that one as well. So maybe I can um, keep you from turning it back on because you don't control it going into your turn, even though it's off now. That's kind of the idea. Um, Sigvald moved up. I'm going to see if I can get a big charge. Don't know if I can. He's got a plus three, so maybe he'll make it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, shooting phase. It's done. So we've got a lot of stuff to charge. All right. Uh, we're always be charging is the ABC. secret secret goal to winning Age of Sigmar. So we're going to start with uh, the Twin Souls here in the front. And I will get a 9. So that'll do it. Very good. They're just going to go right into the front. 
We're not going to do anything fancy. Do, 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 do. Um, going to shift them just a little this way to make the charge for the slant gore a little bit shorter. We have a six inch pile in, so actually I can leave these two back and they'll be able to pile in all the way because they're wholly within 12 of my general. General's going to charge uh, five, should do it. Let's take a look. Yep, that'll do it. So he's going to come over here on the corner. Just try and stay outside of three of the Gargant, even though um, he'll probably be in three here. So it's not going to matter. Um, Slangor charging. Uh, four. That it's not gonna, not gonna do it. Swing and a miss. Um, not sure I want to use the command point on them. Kind of just hold them in reserve for a later turn. Not charging here. Um, I'm gonna roll the Slangor. They should be within 12. See if it, yeah, they are. So, five. Not gonna get there. Um, Painbringers up in the corner over there by the Gargant. First set. Eight. That'll get them in. Oh, cool. Just happen to have this 8-inch stick here. Not that I need it. Yeah, don't get all the way over there. So they're just going to charge around the corner. Kind of hit that there. Gargant charging. Can you look up his war scroll for me while I'm doing mm -hmm. this? I just want to see if he has like a no, in, impact hit. No. Okay, so I got a 9. So he's just going to come over here. He's going to stay outside of 3 of the Jabber Slith. But maybe if I blow them up, I can pile into him. So he's outside of three of the Jabber Slith, just kind of pincering the unit. Um, if you're newer to Age of Sigmar and you've never seen this, I, on these big units, if you hit them from both ends, it makes it hard for their piling because they can only pile into the closest unit. So they're not going to be able to get basically all the attacks in because I'm definitely not starting over here. I'm going to start over there because that's my battle tactic when it comes to activating. I'm going to charge the Painbringers into the Jabber Slith. I <laughs> rolled a two. <laughs> Yay! Snake eyes, so those pain bringers aren't going anywhere. You're um, kind of debating that one anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know that it was a good idea, and I've just been told no, so I'm going to take the no and as it is what it is, and then uh, roll for than, uh, Siggy. Sig ball, getting that. Um, seven, ten. Yeah, ten. So eight inches gets him to there, so that's definitely ten. Um, let's see this nine, because he'd have to go around. And I don't know. Five plus. Yeah, let's find out. So it'd be six inches to there, four inches to there. Mm, so very close. I don't think that's a half inch. I would say so. Let's find out. Oh, you moved your finger. Oh shit. Let's go. Okay. So six inches to there, four inches. Yeah. So that's not a half inch. So he won't be able to make the charge into there, but he can go into the ungores as well, and we might as well. Don't think they're they're not long for this world. <laughs> They'll get to attack though. Yeah, they're one run. Yeah, strike, Sigball does strike first, no, so no. he does have that, and they're within range of him. So Sigball will be negative three rend. Okay. Not that it matters. They don't really have much of a save anyway. So. All right. All right. Um, moving to the combat phase, we're going to start with Sigball because he strikes first. I rolled a um, on his unmodified charge. I rolled a seven, so he's going to have seven, seven attacks. Two. And then I believe he's twos and threes. It's been a while since I've played my Slanesh and gotten Sigvald in, other than when I threw him at Alario and he died, because that was a dumb move. <laughs> if you haven't watched that video, check out the uh, Slanesh versus um, Sylvaneth video, and I made a couple of real bad decisions there with him. So he fights at the start of the combat phase, and I have seven attacks. This will be twos and threes. Negative three run because I'm the Gargant, giving the minus one to save there. Okay. So twos, uh, miss one, and threes um, uh, all go through. So six of them, negative three run, yeah, yeah, so D3 damage apiece. So this will be six, nine. seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. 13. That is the best I have done with him in a long time. All right, and then moving on from there, um, we have my general and my dudes here. So they're going to be able to activate and pile in six. So pile the general in this way, pile these guys in here. They all fight at the same time. I'm just kind of activating them all at once on the pile in, um, which actually I, I shouldn't do. Let me read how that works real quick. I have never played this battalion before, so let me see what the activation order is. 
Um, I have to look up the battalion. So, Galician Command. Um, Holy Within 6, not yet fought. Champion and the Sworn Bodyguard. Fight one after the other in the order of your choice. So, I'm going to fight with my general first. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to fight with them. Yeah. So this is really kind of cool with Sigvald and that battalion. I get to fight with three units before he gets to fight with any. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. So let's go with the general, which is the Lord of Pain. He has five attacks, threes and threes. Um, hit with two. Oh, I'm going to all defense them because sure. they're the only thing that's... Wound with two, doing it. minus one rend. So you have two saves. Two saves? Two saves at minus one. So they'll be back to force. Nope. Two damage each. So four damage. And then I'm going to do my six inch pile in, which doesn't really change anything. But. Ta da! I did not use the full six inches. Just trying to get everybody in. They're two inch range, so the whole unit of nine will be in. That is the second battle round, so they will be re rolling all of their hit rolls. So this is going to be three attacks apiece. So 27 attacks. I will all at attack them. So uh, threes and threes. And then let's grab all of my dice here. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 20, I think I have exactly 27. Um, uh, that was 20, 25, 26. So I have to roll one more. Wait, am I doing that math right? Yeah, 9 times 3, plus 1 for the leader. That's what I'm missing. 9 times 3, so it's 28. So I'll just roll the 20, and then I have 8 more after that. Alright, so this is 3s, 6s explode, re-rolling all hits. Um, one, two, this one's cocked, that one misses, these are misses, and I have five sixes, and then um, five, ten, fourteen hits with five sixes, I have to roll eight more dice, this is six, seven, eight, a little more here. Uh, these are misses, so four more hits so far, and I had what, fifth or fourteen, so I had six misses. So six plus these. Can you count this just real quick? I got a lot of math going on here. Um, I got fifteen, eighteen, or I can do it right here. So eighteen hits, and then I have eight misses total that I have to reroll. So you reroll all or just those? Reroll all hits. So, but I'm not rerolling those. And then I had six sixes, or was it five? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six sixes. So I will have two more hits and one more six. So seven sixes. So for the wound roll, I will get an additional seven dice. So six, seven. So these are the wound roll, wounding on threes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six misses. So you have coming at you five, 10, 15, 17 saves. No rend. No rend? No rend. So three ups. Come on, Mr. Colossum, save. What? Uh, so how many of these? Two That's actually three? a good roll. Two damage piece? Yeah. So kill one, kill two, kill three, kill four, kill five, kill six guys. I don't think I got them. Six guys? No, I didn't get them. Um, so I will fail my battle tactic. One, two, three, four, five. What does what do? Definitely want the bear, they rally on fives. Add one to charge. Bye, horn blower. Well, I'm gonna fail my battle tactic there. So I do have a chance. I guess I needed the slangor to get in there. 
Okay, now it's uh, your activation after I activated all those units. So you cannot fight with anything on this side of the table, correct? Nope. Before I go do anything? Nope, so it's just this side of the table. These are yours, right? So. Yeah, so you got into the Gargant. Do I pile in? Do you and even attack you, or do I just? I mean, he's gonna get to pile in and attack. So. I know, but if I pile in here, you can spin his base and get into the jabber scythe and attack it. I can pile into the jabber scythe if you don't pile into me. Well, you're closer to this. You you have to pile. Oh yeah, this yeah. way. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I give myself a turn of him not just getting blown up. Oh, that's true. So I'm just gonna pile them close, uh, closest to the closest. I mean, you're like kind of equidistant between Sigvald and well, the Gargant. Yeah, this guy. So you can go in Three. either direction. So if well, this guy equal. has to go towards Sigvald. The Gargant's just going to eat me anyway. I'm just going to tap. Uh, I'm not even going to attack you. I'll just do that. Okay. So. Eh, whatever. No, I'm going to swing. Why not? They have one rend right now. Let's go everything into this Gargant. See if my one rend can. Yeah, it means only a five up save. Come on, they're fives and fives. Uh, Are they really? Yeah. Well, yeah, they shoot. They're um, one attack each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I six, love seven. their ability that shoot in the movement phase thing once a game. Yeah, it catches you off guard. <laughs> like, well, you can't protect anything. You can't protect everything. Well, you can't protect anything. Well, it has to shoot the closest unit. Oh. So okay. Had you know if you're if but, I had like but with Sigvald here I could have picked this portion. Which yeah. So I mean it's like almost impossible to protect against it, yeah. other than like just not being near a board edge, because you only have twelve inch range. All right. So these are gonna be. One attack, fives and fives, nothing special. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. All right, five and five. Skinks. One. Yep. Makes sense. And one. Hey, hey. GG, let's go. And you have a rend? Oh, big at him. Oh, they poked the Gargant. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's up to five wounds. Do I bracket him? <laughs> no, he brackets at six. One shy of bracketing. Brackets at six. Whatever, uh, I poked him in his little foot. Um, Gargant will pile in a little bit just to be on the objective. So uh, When you pile in, you can roll a dice and remove one of my models. Is that how his works? Yep. Stuff him in me bag um, after it makes a pile in move. So just don't roll one. All right. Hey. hey! Which model do you want? I don't care. Pick one. Uh, Whatever's important to you. Banner is the important one. Um, at the start of the combat phase, if this unit is within six of a beast of chaos hero, which it's not, Oh, that uh, that works That's if funny. he was with, if, if he, he was, was near, near yours. Hero, it works. <laughs> All right, so we just have his attacks. So mighty kick, threes, no, and massive club, five attacks. One, two, three, four, five, threes. Uh, miss two and threes. Two go through. No rend. No rend. No rend. Two. Two go through, no Two run. Two sixes? You giving me a chance? Giving you a chance. Come on, sixes! Nope. Uh, two damage each. And then one headbutt on a four. Hits. On a three. Wounds. Negative two, yep. four damage. Wow. Yeah, they're dead. No depravity for you. Weird, weird model. I love it, though. I mean, it's a great... Yeah. Um, I'm just going to make sure you didn't when you moved. Yeah, you're no, I did not want to be with him. I, know, I, know. I was making sure that you were outside of three so I could move on my turn. Cool. Okay. Um, you have I your just, best of yep. and your Gargant. Um, I will start with my Gargant. And because he's within six of this hero, he's going to get plus one to all his attacks. Yep. I'm going to put everything into these twin souls. I will all out defense. I know that you get your special thing, but that's Ooh. okay. Yeah. Because you only have two dudes. So... Uh, Best of Gores, if you weren't aware, they get an additional attack if something uses all-out defense within three of them. And the interesting thing about it is that it's if something in the phase used all-out defense. So there's some kind of cool things you could do with them to get them near right. units, when like I where there's multiple in, things. Who is your leader of this group? The red guy. Okay. 
in here. And I'm going to uh, try to stuff them in my bag. You have to be within three or one? I, I don't remember how it works. Within three. Wow, within three. that's even better than it used to be. Double the woo. I need a four. Damn. It's a two. All right. Um, so because I'm near a champ, uh, Beast of Chaos, dude, I'll get plus one to all these attacks. And subtract one from all your save rolls anyway. So I'm going to start with Mighty Kick. So they'll be on their regular save. I have one command point. I'm saving the one command point to give them uh, not run away. So I can't use all attack here. So there'll be threes and threes on one attack. Oh, it'll be two attacks because I get the one extra. Yep. Hit Hits. Both. Threes. Uh, so one, and that will be minus two Ren, technically. Um, so you're counting the minus one from his thing? Well, he's... Oh, it'll actually be three. Um, I'm getting one from here. I'm getting one from his right... Oh, because it's round two? It's round two. And then you're also... So it'll be three rend. So I'm, I would be saving on sixes, so... All right, so that'll be All D3 right. damage. Two damage. Okay. Um, one guy had a wound on him, so that will travel to another guy. And then I have... Massive club will be five attacks, plus one, so six... Um, and these will be threes and threes. Yay. Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah. All good. All good. In the hood. And I'm looking for threes here. I need these. Ooh. He swing and a miss. Then just one tack. Uh, those will be fours and threes. Uh, I'll be two tacks. So. Yikes. Hits with one. Oh, my. Wow. He had a big swing and a miss there. All right. That Gargant, he drank a little too much. That's the old ability. <laughs> He's a little drunk. The ale guzzler. Um, yeah, so that's that's all I got for that. Um, I will then go to my beast of gores, who will just kind of pile in. I'll make sure I'm doing this proper. Just want to be on the outside of here, so I can get the hell away and rally. Staying outside of three of these guys. All right. Um, yeah, so that will be you all at defense. So we're looking at. I know it's threes and threes, but it'll be three attacks each. Are they three run? Because they're negative right. one plus the... So you're negative one? Yeah, it'll be three run. <laughs> Two, wow. Three. Saves just really, like, three. almost don't matter against beasts. Plus one. <laughs> um, so this will be threes and threes, because um, I left my general dude hero. Yep. Um, so these will be threes and threes. Sixes don't do anything cool. Um, so it'll be three at minus three run. So sixes. All the defense wasn't even worth it. I don't know. We'll see if I roll a six. Yeah, hey, six. it was worth it. I got one. So two damage. So two damage total? Just one damage. They're one damage each. So yeah. lose another guy. Whoop. And then... Oh, I was supposed to do a monstrous action here. Yeah, I was supposed to do one over there. Well, we'll, we'll just call it a yeah, day. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day. We already went through all they combat. Wouldn't have, like, they wouldn't have done it here. Yeah. I would have tried to do D3 more wounds to those guys. You weren't within one? It's within three. Stomp's what? within three. Is Stomp within three? Yeah, they're okay. all within three. Cool. So, anything else? We just have Battleshock? Um, Battleshock, which I'm going to spend a point. Um... This is the start of the round, so I'm going to keep my point. I lost three dudes there, and I can re-roll Battleshock wholly within nine of my general. Yeah. So, one. Cool. They are safe, and I don't have any Battleshock over there. So, Depravity, and then we'll count points. So, for Depravity, uh, one, two, and then three for my Gargant. Yep. And they That's took it. the other turn, so just yep. three. Three. Yeah, I'm not missing anything, right? No, four. You're great brave shaman. You hurt yourself to do oh, mortal yeah. wounds to me. That's that's what I was. I thought that was the last turn. So I'm up to eight, which means that I believe I rally on fives now. Once I get to eight, so um, let's see here. Battle traits, heat knights, and I am correct. Once you get to six depravity, you rally on fives the whole army. Once I get to 12, I'll add 2 inches to all of my movement. Once I get to 18, I will have a ward of 5 for the entire army, which is okay. pretty cool.
So uh, we'll go into beasts now for scoring. I definitely hold the objectives, so more. I hold more. So I did fail points. my battle tactic, so I will but score now you have three. To roll to see if you turn them off. I get eight victory points, so let's do the turn it off thing. So this one here, um, I'll reroll that. It's cocked. So that one stays on. So this one stays on. Um, don't roll anything here because that one's already off. And then that one. That's cocked. So turns that one off. does turn off. And then I don't control the one in the corner, so no rolling for that. So that one's off. This one stayed off. And now it's going to beast turn two. All right, we'll be back. All right, everybody. After hard thinking and hurting my brain a lot, um, I'm going rampaging beast herd. Herd. Um, have 10 models on this objective. An objective that your opponent controls. They Take it with 10 models. And you get it. And I get it. So all I have to do is move up. But I do want to do some killy stuff. Um, and then we'll go into heroic actions. I'm going to go um, command point on this uh, this beast dude. <laughs> get one. Um, I think you're bringing those bestigors in. Don't know that I want to best day ever on this guy I have what two command points so I don't know this is a hard decision let's let's do it um, I think you're bringing these guys in and then he'll be within three they're two inch reach so you could conceivably attack him I think if you come into that front line yeah you could at least with a couple of guys but he has this ability that redirects attacks. It's kind of cool. So on a four, you can't attack him until the end of the phase. Oh, that's cool. So you'd have to attack something else. Okay. Um, no, I'll just do the command point. Okay. Or actually, we'll heal him. That, that'll be that's probably better. He has four wounds on him. So let's try and heal. Okay. Uh, seven. So that's under his bravery. He's demon. He's ten. So D three wounds. Uh, one wound. Oh yeah, and I could have done another heroic action. D six mortals. You but, can still do that. But I'm not going to. It's your turn. You can still do it. I'm not going to. I don't want to hurt any of my guys. You also have the, like, draw me closer to you one, and then what are the other yeah, two? Yeah, but I just... I think I have to see you. If anybody, I'd run a pulse sig bolt towards me. But uh, I can't see him. So that's okay. I don't want to take any more damage. Um, you don't want to give me depravity? And I don't want to give you depravity. <laughs> All right, so I will go to spells. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the plus one damage on these guys. The other two are a six-up ward, and then do not take battle shocked. Good to know. So we're going to go ahead into Vicious Stranglehorn from this guy right here. Um, I'm going to cast on this unit here, um, try to stop them from piling in. Um, actually, I could also try to stop the your mirror from piling in. I'm going to stop the mirror from piling in. His attacks are one inch. I think so, yeah. Right. I, I, think, I think the one attack is two. He just has a zillion attacks. And you the big them. attack is one, I believe. You mark them for the rerolls and things like that. Yep, rerolling hits a one. All right, so actually, I'm going to Mystic Shield here. I think that's the appropriate thing to do. Mystic okay. Shield this unit. That makes sense. That's better. Eight. Oh, I'll get an eight. I rolled Yahtzee. boxcars. All right. Sorry I thought about that so hard. All right, and then the next one will be... <laughs> the next one will be... I'm going to do the plus one damage here. This goes off on A7. Five. We'll not get it. And then we will go into movement. We'll be right back. We're just going to make save rules. All right, and we are back. So, something I'm really excited to do is I got my dude here rocking the gnarl staff. At the end of movement phase, He's within six of the objective. Uh -huh. I'm now going to roll a two up on these two units, and they're going to take D3 mortal wounds. Nice. So we'll start here. Get a four. They'll take D3. So three mortals on them. Ooh, and spicy. Two up. They get it. So these guys, they're also going to take D2, or two mortals. Popping guys with a staff. Gotta love it. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and go to charges. That's pretty good. That's a really good, I mean, with especially in this mission with so many objectives, all he has to do is end a movement on it and he gets to Any it. mission. <laughs> yeah, any mission with objectives, all missions. 
Now the question is, the one that just has each corner is an objective. Does he just nuke the entire army? Uh, technically, yes, <laughs> based on the current rules. Oh wow! <laughs> so you can just nuke a corner of board for D three. Yeah. Who? Uh, all right, we're gonna go charges. Uh, I could talk about that. Um, I'm gonna start here because this is the most important. I wouldn't charge. be shocked if uh, that rule changed in the b future. We need nine. You did it. He's just gonna come in here. And uh, when he finishes his charge on a two up, they fight less. I got a six. Woo boy. Scary boys fighting fight last. last. Right. We had long discussions over that artifact versus the other ones, and I still firmly believe it's one of the best ones in the game. <laughs> All right. Now we are going to go ahead and charge the big unit. Can you roll a three? I can roll a five. That's not great. Yeah, he gets you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I redeployed the Slangor forward on purpose because I want to get them in combat and see how they do. Right, so five, and come here. Come back here. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm just going to get my fiber. Curious what you guys think of the new Beast Book, so please uh, drop a line in the comments. What ideas you may have for lists. We've been uh, playing with a lot of different ones here. Um, trying to figure it out. Might as well pull that three out of there. Because that guy's within three. If you're yeah. trying to stay outside yeah, of three. Yeah. I was just trying to see. Yeah. I, I like the changes. I, I don't think the Gorgon is worth it. We were just talking about that. One, I, I don't know that starting him off the board was the best idea. I was talking to Brad. like That unit of 20 with the 7 inch thing. Because they get a plus one to their charge from the banner. Right? Right, Brad? Yes. Yeah, so they have a six inch oh, charge. So like, you, you could have just dropped them, like, right here or wherever and, like, charged turn one and just stopped me from being able to move and take objectives. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, I think that's much better than putting the Gorgon away. No matter what. I don't know. I watched a game where uh, they played two Gorgons and they just did not seem like they were worth, was it, 240 points? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see if he gets in here. He's okay. got a seven inch charge and I mean I'm sure he picks up some Slangor. But you know, Slangor are 130 points, so it shouldn't be too hard. They're on a five up save, three wounds apiece. I'm gonna charge the uh general here again. Are you in coherency over here? Hmm? Yeah. I'll I don't I don't know that you are, because you have to be There's just two guys here. Oh, yeah. Not one, everybody two. has to just one, two. Okay, this guy is. Oh yeah, you're, so you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. There, this guy's. This guy's close enough. And so when yeah, I pile in, good. I'm gonna cup him in. Yeah, but you have to move everything in coherency every time you finish a move. You can't yeah. purposely move out. Right, but, but you're good. You're one, good. One, two, one, two, one. Yeah, two, I just two, didn't two. see the other guy, so yep. you're good. I'm charging this hero. Seven, eight. Uh, I think he gets plus one. Beast lords. Let's see. I think he gets plus one. Or he doesn't. Either way, I think a seven's getting you in there. Aw, I wanted to fight with my slang or not get fought first. Um, no, this is the question. Yep, so everybody's within 12. When they activate, they activate a hull, or another unit within 12 of them. Who does? The This guy. Beast swords do that? Yeah. Wow. That's um, a good ability. Let me double check. But in the combat phase, when you pick this unit to fight for the first time, you can pick one other friendly Bray Herd that is not a hero, wholly within 12. It's not fight yet, that fights one after another. Yeah, best of gores are Bray Herd, right? Yeah. It's the uh, bull gores that so are not. So all of them are going to fight together. Nice. Um, that's same with them, but they're not. They're fighting, fighting last, last anyway, so. We do have the hero here. I mean, so he doesn't hit very hard. I think the best thing from. Oh, he has a shooting attack. He does? Yeah. Sorry, guys, this is definitely the first time. Um, it's yeah. your first time ever playing Beasts of Chaos, <laughs> yeah. much less playing the brand new book. <laughs> yeah, he's got three attacks on threes and threes. So I'm going to shoot everything into uh, the Gargant. It's 10 inch deck. No reason not to try to down this Gargant. Do it. Um, three attacks, threes and threes. Did you shoot your spears? No, I didn't. So we, I kind of went to charging. Yeah, I, I set these guys down too. So I'll shoot my spears into them as well. Threes and threes. Um, we're looking at two at minus. One into the Gargant. Miss them both. Um, so that'll be D3 damage. Each. Ooh, it's a spicy so shot. Be three, four, five damage. Wow. Yeah, you don't want to forget that one in the future. 
Puts him to ten wounds taken. Maybe I charge the guardian. I don't know how many he's got. But um, then there's going to be these boys are chucking spears, and that's going to be. That's a good shooting attack. And he's got twelve wounds. We're total. looking at fours and fours on ten attacks. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into the pain bringers. Into the pain bringers. And this will be fours and fours. Force. Waiting for like a 10 again. Two. No red. <laughs> <laughs> Miss them both. Two pop, damage. Pop, pop a dude. Pop a dude. Give you more points to summon something scary. Um, or get a five up ward if I have enough stuff left, which I don't know that I will. Yep. Yeah, then we will go to combat. We will go ahead and fight here in the middle first. Um, I will not all out defense. Oh, you don't want to do that? Because I don't want a unit of 20 getting an extra attack. Um, so I'm going to start with him. He's going to put everything... Oh, aggressive. Oh, I didn't even get to fight with the Slangor. I mean, I, I doubt I killed oh, kill them. They're a 5 up save. I imagine you do. Oh, they're a 5 up save? Yeah, it's a Beast Lord. Beast I mean, Lords are... Beast Lords hit pretty beasts. Hard, but So I'm going to have 5 get attacks. It, get it, Beast. Because they're a Beast Lord. If a unit Lord. within 3... <laughs> of any enemy heroes. Am I within three of any enemy heroes? Damn, I'm outside of that your hero. You are out. Um, uh, still that's out. That's not going to help me. All right, so it's going to be five attacks. And then... The unmodified hit roll is a six. It does... It just goes straight to wounds. Immortals. Or, yeah, it's mortal wounds. Um, so five attacks. Threes and threes. Um, not all of attacking here. Uh, six, so that'll be two mortals. Okay. And then I think it ends that one. Yeah, it's end. Do not make a wound roll. So. It's not oh, it just hit. You still get to save on it. Oh, it's just an auto hit? It says if a modified or auto hit wound? causes... Oh, it... Cause a number of mortal wounds, so no, you don't get saved. So two mortals into the fiends so far. Okay. Threes. Uh, it'll be three at minus two red. Okay, they have no save. Okay, so it's two damage piece, so six, six total damage. So you'll kill two. Ouch. It hurts to hurt my own beastmen. And then we will go these Big boys. unit. couple in the back that won't get in. He's going to come up here a little bit. And so is my general. Oh, I got to roll the uh, epitomes thing. I think okay. it's the start of combat. That's the thing I was telling you about. I've never actually done it. So, horrible fascination. At the start of the combat phase, you can roll one dice for each enemy unit within three inches of this model. There's only one unit. So, I rolled a two. Doesn't matter. On a four, this model cannot be picked as a target of attacks made by that unit in that phase until this model makes any attacks. So, had I rolled a four, you wouldn't have made a little attack him. All right, so three guys going into him, and one's the leader. You can double check that. Turn the back, okay? Looks yeah, like he's just getting to his mates. Yeah, that dude's not getting in there. Him? What? That guy? That guy. And then it's on his base? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. Here, let's pull this guy I, mean, I can bump him up a little more. Okay, does he fit more? I mean, he probably, like, I I had a three-inch pile in, and this guy was straight up. So, I, mean, like, I mean, he's base to base there, though. So. Right, but this guy just has to adjust a little. Sure, if you want it, you can have it. Yeah, I mean, I just... It looks really far, but you're fine. I, I won't do it, then. All right, so I'll have the leader and the other guy. So that'll be... We'll start that. One, two, three... One, two. Any all out defense? You sure? Nope. Okay. Um, 
Really cool ability. So this is into the mirror first? Into the mirror first. This will be five attacks. Threes and threes. I will. One command point left. They're not in the group that can all out attack. I mean, you're basically fighting first everywhere, so. Yeah. So I'm not going to use it. Threes and threes. Okay, with all? Uh, sixes don't do anything. Right? Three. Um, so that'll be three minus two rend into the. I don't think it's no save. Damage. Three damage. So he's got one wound left. And then that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That guy's there too. Yeah. Eight. eight. That guy's there. So nine. Uh, it'll be eight into them. The rest will go this way. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. That guy's got. One, that two, guy's three, got the four, range. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight. You have eight going into them. These guys have Mystic Shield. So this will be 16. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And this will be threes and threes. Um, That isn't all attack. Everything's been a one. That's nice. <laughs> Getting your mileage out of your command points. Oh, I only have one left. So. Um, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at minus two ren. All right, eleven saves. You say two ren. Um, Mystic Shield. They're on a three, so two. So go back to the four. I've missed one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five damage. So saved a good amount there. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, and then one dude's got a wound on him. Okay. And then that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So twenty attacks. I am out of wound counters, so I'm gonna use this red dice. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 17. Yeah, and if anybody hasn't done the math yet on the all-out defense when a unit is at full strength of the Bestigors, don't do it. 17. I'm missing... They, they actually do more damage by gaining the extra attack than you I'm will gain... one dice. I think you may have probably... Then you will gain through the all-out defense unless you have, like, some absolutely ridiculous armor save, like Mystic Shield and Finest Hour, etc. But most of the time the math works out where you're going to take more by doing it. Okay. Especially with the amount of ren that the army puts out. Cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and minus two ren. Uh, these guys are just saving on five. So one, two, three, four. So one damage each or two? One damage each. So take four. So this dude dies. Two, three. And then this guy's got a wound on. So we'll lose two there. Okay. Okay. You're over there now. Or actually, I get you to can, pick a unit. So a unit. yeah, I was just I the fight last is screwing with my brain. Yeah. <laughs> um. Actually, I might start with this guy over here because how far can a six inch pile in get me? Get me to there, get me around to there. Not quite enough. But I can get away. No, no I can't. Pile them yeah, I gotta pile him towards him. Um, yeah, I'd get around to there. He's just a one inch reach, so just five attacks. So it'll be five attacks into the Gargant, um, minus one run, threes and threes. Okay. Sixes do explode. So two hit, one six, so we'll get another dice, and then <laughs> one goes through at minus one. So that's six up six. Hey, Gargant! Cool. Um, he has a five up ward. When you do damage into him, he, he reflects mortal yeah. wounds back at on you. On a two up or something? No, on fives. 
when he makes ward saves? I'm going to use... I guess I'm going to attack with all of them first, because I'm going to see what I need to do with him afterwards if I want to go into him or see what they do. So I will start with him, so they'll double attack. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be... They're fighting last anyway. doesn't matter. Yeah. But if you kill certain ones, then he might be out of range. I don't know. Um, so yeah. How much so, rend are they all? Like three rend or something? Two rend? It'll be three rend because you're near him. Yeah, so it's not even worth all defensing. So Probably lose them here. This is what it is. Oh, I never charged that guy. Oh, yeah. Charger Gorgon. Seven, exactly. Hey. Log on this way. I don't think you were seven to them. You were seven to them because you were just outside. But you can probably, yeah, you already moved it, so it is what it is. But you, when we placed him, you had to like push him back a little bit. Well, so I think I think I'd have to go to this way, and then I can pile that way. Which yeah. I'm gonna activate him because there's no reason for me to activate over here yet. So okay. I, I'll pile him this way. What's this one? So on? you just have to swivel his base. Yeah. And um. stay closer to them. This one was on them. And then I'm going to use his... After it makes a pylon, roll three dice. And if I double, I swallow. Uh, I'm going to pick... Is it within one inch? How does it work? Three inch. Three inches. Wow. So let me just see what's in three. Well, I'm going to pile on this way, though. So I'll swivel around them. And I'll try to eat. Oh yeah, three inches. One, two. That's, I'm gonna eat. That's good. I'm gonna eat the three middle guys to leave those two guys off on their own. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. So I'll start from this side first. So, you so need I need roll a four. Fours. So that guy's eaten. The guy in the end. Yep. Next guy, we'll get a four. So the next. Guy. No, no, not the guy in the end. I'm leaving a gap. I'm taking this guy, this guy, and this guy. So then this guy, and then that guy. So the third guy below. Um, I will then seven butchering blades. You uh, forgot your monstrous rampage. Monster, improve the rand. Well, I'll just improve the ra uh, rend for this. Okay. And if he kills anything, he heals three damage. Okay. Um, so his weapon will be three rend. Four three rend. Yeah. Um. So I'll put unit monstrous rampage here either. Oh yeah, I'll just stomp your hero. Does he get to bounce those back? Yeah, it's a five award. If you get the five, these award? these are guys on a five award too. If yeah, if get I get the ward, they bounce back. Oh okay, um, I'll stomp your hero. Oh no, they're rerolling hit rolls because it's still round two. I I I missed. I got a one. Okay, that's what happens when you forget. Um, so you're attacking here. How are you allocate? Yeah, I'm gonna do seven into these guys are more survival, not pity, right? I'll do seven into the seven attacks into them, and then my huge severing mon. I'm gonna use my leadership of the alpha from him, and I'm gonna give all out defense to them, and to them, and might as well give it to them because I might as well use it while I got it. Okay. So seven attacks into. Um, them and then the, the two into them. And then I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. Right. Well, there he's three rend. I, I, I won't even have a save on them with all defense. I'm, I'm not going to use the command point. It doesn't matter. Well, you're going to give them an extra attack too. Yep, yeah, no. No reason. Just basically don't get saves. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Seems to be what it is. Um, so yeah, so seven into them and then... Oh, it's three damage apiece. So I'm going to put two of those into them, five into these guys. Okay. Because that's a lot of damage piece. So five into these guys. Yep. Um, it'll be fours and twos. I'm going to use my once a game. He's in my battalion that I can use all out attack for free. Not using him. So. Sure. Yeah, here. So these will be threes and twos. Hoi! A lot of ones and twos. And then twos. Got him. Got two. So two into them. You can't save. It'll be six damage. And then I will have two attacks into them. It'll be threes and twos. 
one, twos. So one at minus three ren. Missed. Uh, so three damage. And then two at threes and twos. Threes, twos. Um, so two, uh, you can't save, d6. Four, just just got him. No, no, that's these guys. That guy's still Those are two of Oh, it's three round, I can save. It's two of them. It's one, two. They're, they're three of Save. Three. Yep. Save one. Right, so three damage. Oh, well, it, that, it that kills, kills them anyway. <laughs> yeah, but if you would have got two sixes. Well, was how much was it? Was D6? It was D6 damage, and I got four. Yeah, but you rolled two dice. Did you roll like a three and a one, or did you roll two twos? I rolled a three and a one, so you, you want me to... It doesn't roll. matter. It, it's fine. They're dead. But in the future, we just got to make sure we do that, right? Yeah, well, you, yeah, I thought they didn't have a safe, sorry. Yeah, they're three up safe. In melee. So. So it's your turn to activate again. Um, okay. Um... Yeah, let's go with, uh, doesn't really matter what order I go in, so we'll go with the Slangor. He's going to use his fight twice, which he gets, like, fight last on it, but if you're cool, I'm just going to roll it together. Yeah, I can't, Just double I can't. his dice, because it's not going to matter on the activations. Yep. So that's What's the, the rend on that guy? That's the leader guy. He's got one rend, so it'll be ten attacks total. With one guy? Yep. Oh, because he's five. He's five attacks base, What's and the, I'm uh, attacking profile? twice. I'm just going to roll it all at once. What's the profile? It's fours and threes, minus one, two damage. Fours and threes, minus one, two damage of these. I'm just debating if I want to use my all at defense here or if I want to save it for them. I really want to keep that guy alive. I will keep me at fours, two damage a piece, six wins. Yeah, I, I guess he's just going to die. Yep, go ahead. So fours. Miss three of them. And threes. Ooh, got them all. Wow. Uh, five, six, seven at minus one. Uh, so five up. Two damage each. Save three. Two, four, six, eight. It wouldn't have mattered. I would have died. Glad I, I think Slay and Gore with the fight twice are really good now. Uh, for 130 points. I mean, that was one dude. Yeah, that's one. Imagine points. the full unit attacking like that. Okay, next so. I will go... Um, I'll activate these guys and do my thing. Um, so the hero, one, two, three, four, five, into those guys. Um, these will be threes. You didn't, oh yeah, you didn't all have a, a defense. Um, and then that will be threes and threes. So that'll be one, two, three, four. Four at one, two, three. No save. How much damage? Just one, uh, two each. Two, four, six, eight. Eight damage. Cool. So, two, four, six, eight. And then one carries over. Okay, and then I'll activate them. From here, that'll be one, two, three, and one, two. These will be threes and threes. Threes, that'll be two at minus three rep. No save. Uh, just two down. Okay. One, two. And then it's your activation. Okay. Um, let's do the other slaughter guy. He'll attack twice. Keep it easy. I don't have to remember another profile. Because <laughs> the order doesn't really matter for me. So, force. Um, not as good as the first guy. Five go through so far. And threes. Uh, all those go through, though. So, five of them, minus one. All fives. So um, eight damage. Jeez. Yeah, they hit like a truck. I'm really happy with their change. I can't wait till they're heating knights and they get exploding sixes. <laughs> so you have them. Cool. Um, Here, I'll use these. I got, I got my marker. But you can throw one on them. 
All right. So you got your Gargan over here? Yeah. And then I can go with the rest of my stuff. I got it, dude. Don't worry about it. He's got eight on him. Um, Gargant. We'll pile in here, and then I'll go to stuff one in a bag. I'll try to stuff your leader. Mm -hmm. Get a four, so I'll stuff the leader in a bag. And then I'll put... I don't want to leave you that unit. I mean, they're just going to run from Battleshock, so it doesn't really matter. You can all out. Uh, I have one command point. I could save him from Battleshock. Unless I kill this and guy. And then they rally on If fives. I kill this guy, you can't then, because you lost the leader. Yeah. So I'll put everything into him. Um, put yeah, and he's my general. Yeah, put everything in your general. So I got one attacks. Um, I will all out attack. This is my... Oh, I already did that. So these will be threes and threes. Do you even have command points left? I think he's plus one attack. You don't have any command points I don't. Left. No, I use the free one. I still have one left. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, because I use the free one from him. Oh. Because he's in that get a free Oh, one. yeah, you're right. Line breaker. The battalion. All right, so he's going to get plus one to his attack character. So yep. I just want to make sure I saw that. Yeah. You're so there'll be two attacks and, attacks and kicks, threes and threes. Two. Threes. Two double ones. Ooh, um, snake ass. This guy does not want to attack. So, um, five attacks. Plus one, so six attacks, three threes and threes. He's blinded oh by all. Oh my goodness! He is blinded by all the golden armor. Threes. Oh, oh. I'm at, at minus uh, one, three. Two. I just assume everything's three. No, it's just two. Why? This one. Oh, I see. This one's the, the, oh, it's no run. Club, oh, it? I get a save. Cool. Six. Nope. Uh, damage. Two damage. Two damage. Okay. You got more profiles, right? Yep. And then two headbutts, fours and threes. <laughs> oh, Snake Eyes again. This is Gargan. <laughs> he, he is blinded by the golden armor. That's I'll roll the ward rolls. Nice. Fives. Get both of them. Uh, I missed them both. All right, so take two. Wow. Um, I'll use these dice since you found your marker. Threes and threes. That's two threes and threes with. Nice. All right. Um, you're done, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all my profiles. So contorted epitome. Just going to pile in like I'm so. I'm going to defense them. And then we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. So this will be threes and fours, sixes explode. I, I may, I'm not looking, but I may all out defense here. I just want to see what the bravery seven. I'm going to all out defense. Okay. And <laughs> one goes through, minus one. Um, so there's still four up. Nope. One damage, and then threes on the tentacles. Hit with one, fours, and wound with nothing. So the mirror is done. Moving on to the pain bringers. Pain bringers are two attacks apiece. I still have the leader here, so that'll be five attacks. Threes and threes. Sixes explode. Wow, that's nice. a lot of sixes. So three sixes. And then sixes on the wound roll, do a mortal wound in addition. Um, one, one six, move. and they all go so you through. Pop this guy, and then just do your. And then you have seven saves at minus one run. That was a really good roll on two dudes. Good job. Number fours. Wow. All right. One damage each. So you kill one, two guys. All right. Who was doing this? These guys? Yeah. All right, and then the second unit of pain bringers over here. They're just gonna pile in like so. And then do the same thing. So hit with two. They are not as excited as the other unit. And wound wow. with one. Minus one. That was the slowest roll. Let <laughs> I know. Really? Like, are we gonna wound? No, no, we're Four. not gonna wound. <laughs> okay. So they're all done. Uh, I have that one twin soul. He's going to go into try and finish off these bestigors, I suppose. Uh, Rerolling all hits. So fours and threes. One. Oh. Dang. And a six explodes. And threes. 
Uh, two at no rend. Of course. Say bull. Cool. That, he could have killed him. Had you failed those. Had bulls. I not rolled a one, I would have stomped. That would have been. Uh, <laughs> that would have been them dead. But that did not happen. So combat is done. Um, battle shock. There's a lot of them. I still have a command point, so I will keep that last twin soul around. Okay. And then I got to roll on all these other guys, and you have to roll on your big unit. Four. Uh, so a two or a one, I need two. I get it. Okay. So they ain't um, scared. This unit of pain bringers lost three. Uh, three plus five is eight, so I'll lose one more. And then the other unit of pain bringers. And, and I, get... I lose both of them. And then that Slangor there. And he will run. Wow. And this Slangor here, he will stick around. Um, yeah, those weren't very good battle shock rolls. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like we, that evened it up a little bit. I feel like you had a lot more. No, no, no that's even. I, I feel like you are definitely... Uh, in command of this game. Well, we'll see. Uh, now I have to roll on things. So now we got to do depravity before we do that. So one. Now that this may make a big difference though, because I'm gonna get a lot here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing happened over here. Eight. Eight. So I shot these. Guys. And nine on the gargant that you shot at. Yep. So I will go to 17 total per depravity. Yeah, I am one, a clean one, right? one off of... A great and clean one? I, yeah, a great and clean one. I can use a great and clean one. Yeah, I'm in a... <laughs> sure, I will summon a great and clean one. Whatever the one boot chick is. <laughs> no, she's at 12, so... 12. Oh. I could have brought it. I could bring a keeper in. Yeah. Oh. What, well, you bring 30 demonettes or something? 30 demonettes or a keeper. Either one. But if I get to 18, which I'm one off of, I would have a 5 up ward on the whole army. Wow. That's yeah. pretty cool. Pretend to be Nurgle for a day. All right, so we're going into battle. Um, we have to roll for objectives now. Right. Well, I they get, stay active first or not. I get, I get my points, though, before that happens. Yeah, right? you do. So I'll get... You hold this one? One. And you hold that one. Two. So we're... I have more than you, because these are off. They're off, yeah. So, so I hold one. I'll get five battle-type points. Yep, so you'll be ten to eight, Beasts of Chaos. Um, the objectives turning off has actually favored you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that happened. Weirdly enough. Well, this one I would, I would like to Because both be turns that you scored five was because the objectives Definitely. turned off. Right. <laughs> um, so, now so now the ones you control, you roll for. So roll for this one. Oh, but it's already off, so you can't roll for it. But this one I have a hero, a uh, Glacian, whatever. You have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven, ten. eight, nine, ten. So yeah. you control no, but it. But I also so, have the hero. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so on a one to two, it'll turn off. And you rolled a two. <laughs> so it'll turn off. Jeez. Uh, and uh, that, one? that one you roll for. And that one's on. The so one I don't so, want on. I would have rather so that one turn These off. two corners are on. <laughs> <laughs> and the middle is off. Yeah, now we come to a so huge priority. priority. Roll. Now I got a three. And you got a oh, two. Oh, it was a four and it wiggled it, back. It was. It, 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 it wiggled its way over. Uh, I mean, I have to, I have to, no, I have to take the turn. So I, if I give you the turn, I'm just screwed and you win the game. So I got to take the turn and uh, right. we'll be back in a minute. Battle round three. So eye for an eye is going to be my battle tactic. I am taking the turn. Like I said, there's no way I could not take the turn. <laughs> um, we're going to go into heroic actions. I'm going to best uh, day ever my mirror. I want to keep him or her around. Uh, I guess her because it's demon odds. I'm going to try to heal this guy. Okay. On a seven. Do I do that? And then do you want to do any special? Beast? I'm going to do d6 to this guy, so I'm going to kill that guy. So you can't rally him. Okay. So who's doing d6? Uh, this guy. So you got to so do that first. Or no, you're I'm going to heal, heal him first. first. I'm going to heal first. Heal oh, first. Kill okay. Um, so I got to roll under a seven. Four, five, six, you seven. Equal. I get it. So you're heal the d3. One. Okay. So he's not dead after this. Um, and then he'll take D3. <laughs> three. <laughs> Go to five. That one was not. There's six wounds? But, uh, yep, this guy's going to take one uh, D6 mortals. That's going to be five. Uh, he's got his ward. Ooh, almost. It's made a five up ward. You yeah. almost had that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you literally almost had that. No, I, I missed two of them, so yeah. not really almost. 
Okay, well, not railing twinsels. So well, I mean, you're all well, that's really good. sad. I was just explaining to him that I could do that. <laughs> yeah, in my head, I was thinking of doing that. So either way, that's a uh, pretty good, good trade. Um, I'll take three more. Hysterical more frenzy off the mirror. Uh, I will reroll that because he gets to reroll his casting yep. rolls. Rashi, uh, seven. I'll try to unbind here. Dang! Don't stop it. That was my chance to do a lot of damage. Um, Mystic shield. Get on an eight. I'll keep that. Try to stop it. Nope. You got it. What okay. Put Mystic Shield on. Um. I guess the last remaining dude there, or himself. Yeah. We'll put it on the mirror, and then we'll move some stuff. Yeah. So we'll be back after movement. Back after movement. Movement! I retreated over here. I screened with this unit coming up here, pulling everything out here. Slangor came over here. This one Painbringer just backed off. I don't know why I finest houred that thing since I pulled out a combat and put Mystic Shield on it, but hey, that's what I did. And then, uh, as you can see, summoned a unit of 30 Demonettes. So, gonna try and make the charge. Why not? Yeah, Evan. And then we're moving over here to try and pincer and kill off that jabber slice for my battle tactic. He's just hanging in his corner. Just um, we forgot to do it at the beginning of the turn, but this did reactivate, which was great for me. So uh, that'll help me score some points here because I am down by two, 10 to eight. And uh, actually, what, you, you're 15 now, right? Yeah, 15. Uh, no, this is start no. around three. Yeah, yeah so 10, 10 to eight. 10 so eight. Um, yeah, let's go to the charge phase. So... Moving with the um, Gargant there first. I will get a seven. We just put him on the far end of the yep. Jabber Slice, please. I'm going to unleash hell. No, like all the way in the corner. Okay. I'm going to unleash hell. Okay. Three attacks. Those will be fours. Where are you getting a command from? You can't give him commands. You have no heroes near him. Oh, he can't do it himself. Yeah. So, um, Sigvald charging. Uh, seven? I don't think a seven does it. Will you measure? Um, seven. Um, yeah, because yeah. it's four plus three. No, you're, you're out. Well, that looks pretty close. Will you grab your stick? Yep. Yeah, he's in. Yep, you're in. Yeah, put him in. I don't want to use a command point. So, he's just inside a half inch. And then, uh, those pain bringers, they got a seven, so would you mind throwing them in there, too? And then, um... From there, the only other thing that's charging is these demonets. They have a banner that lets them re-roll, so got a nine-inch re-rolling charge. So let's see if I can roll a nine. Eight. Eight. All right. One more shot at it. Uh, seven. Eight. Nope. Two eight. So not happening there. So we'll just go to combat over there. <laughs> Sigvald strikes first. I'm so. just gonna. I mean, I guess let's do it. So. Yeah, let, let me roll it. Yeah. I mean, we're already here. Sig, Sigvald only gets five attacks because uh, I rolled um, low on his charge. Mm -hmm. So five attacks, twos and threes, sixes explode. We get one six and one miss, so they will stay the oh, same. Two misses. Are there twos? Was there a two in there? There's a two and a one. Yeah. Okay. And then threes. Oh, it's twos. He hits on twos. Okay. Then, yeah, yeah. that's why I asked. Is it twos? Yeah. Yeah, I said twos and threes. So um, four go through, and these will be negative three rend. I assume you don't have a save against that? Four, five, six. No, I don't. All right, so this will be D3 damage each. Um, <laughs> three. You rolled a six and three ones, so six. it'll be six damage. Six, six. Then from there, um, I'm going to go with the Gargant next because it has two wounds remaining. And the pain burners. Oh, wait, we do monstrous actions, though. Oh, yeah, we do do monstrous actions. So. I'm going to stomp these dudes. You're stopping them? Yep. And then, uh... I can't stomp them. <laughs> I can Titanic one. Duel. So I'll Whatever. Titanic yeah. Duel. So I'll have plus one to hit against him. Right. So go with the Chaos Guard. Hopefully he's as good as my Chaos Guard. <laughs> that way he doesn't die right off the bat. Um, Mighty Kick, hitting on a two. I rolled a one. Yay. I'm following your lead there. And then only two attacks on the club, so twos. I will hit with one, and threes. Bad. I will wound with one. So you have one save at no rend. One save at no rend. Actually, it'd be one rend because he gives the minus one. So one save uh, minus so fives. Two two damage, and then one edbutt threes. 
You got it. I'll, let, I'll give it to you. All right, and then threes. And that hits, so minus three on that one. Uh, I can't take But it's only one damage now, because he brags right. hard. He's at nine. He survives. That's it. Um, yeah, so I guess that's the only thing in combat. So the question is, what do I want to try to kill? Probably the Gargant. Probably try to just kill the... You got two wounds left? Hmm? Two wounds, two wounds left on the Gargant. Two wounds. A. A. We'll do everything into the Gargant, just to not have any more depravity. I don't want to give you any more of that. It would have been fun to get the demon nuts in. They would have been... Uh, uh, these will be threes and threes. They get double exploding sixes at the unit size. So, so it would have been a boatload of attacks. I guess I could have gone into the other guys who are still attacking me. You can do that. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I got I'll, the I'll defense them. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Um, threes. Because I assume you have a lot of rend. Threes. Uh, so that'll be three at one rend. <laughs> don't you have the stone giving you another? Or is that... What? Stone gives you minus one rend. He has zero rend on this deck. Oh, they redesigned all the beasts to not have rend or have like low rend. All right, of the... uh, save two, take one damage. It'll be one damage. Okay. And Kills the guy that had a wound on him. Fours and threes. And that's up. It. Okay. So got uh, three dudes. So that's six plus another three is nine. Five. Just need to do one damage to me. Are, are you good with Six, me pulling seven, eight, him? You just need to do one If damage. you want to, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, because I, I could probably get a mortal wound through there. Yeah, he did. Cool. All right. So I accomplished my battle tactic. I hold more objectives than you. I will score one, two, five points. Um, depravity, you did one damage to those pain bringers there. So I went from 17. I spent 12. I went back down to five. And now I'm gaining one depravity back to six, which will let me rally on fives. So, I do. your turn. Uh, wait, you have to roll for all these things. Oh, yeah. Turning them, turning them off. So, so here, uh, right there, it stays on. Here. Right here, it stays on. Um, that corner one, which would your be with done. the guy on it. I rolled it a two, off. so it goes off. And then... Um, yeah, that's it, because you control these two. Okay, uh, we'll be back with my turn. I'm going to roll for my objectives. Uh, we got this one right here, see if I turn it on. Three? Is that... uh, no, because you don't have a champion on it. Oh, really? It would come back on on a four. <sighs> if that guy was on, yeah, yeah, he would have. That's how it worked. All right, this guy. And that's a one, so they neither one comes back on. Okay. And then your battle tactic? Um, battle tactic is going to be to just walk this guy in. Cunning way. maneuver? Cunning maneuver. Cool. Um, and then we will go ahead and two spells cast. I will go ahead and cast 12 of this guy. Nobody. I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to rally here first. Okay. Or I guess we do heroic actions first. Right? We do. Um, I will do a uh, command point from the mirror. I will get it on a five. Then uh, this guy is a leader, so I will use a regular command point to rally here. Okay. So fives, because I have six depravity. I get one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead here, and um, I'm going to do d6 mortals to the demonettes. You have to be within 12? Yep, they're within 12. Okay. That corner. Uh, so he's going to take d3. Takes one. Mm, get a different colored dice. And they're going to take d6. One. Okie dokie. Deal one. And then I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, is there any other ones that want to answer me? Pick a unit and bring them within three of me. I'm going to taunt these demonettes. They're going to have to move closer to me. Okay. Uh, so he's going to take Can one. you do two of those? Another one? Uh, I think you can only do one additional one. You're right, you're action. Right. One, one, one. Um, I'll do best day ever on this guy. Okay. 
Um, and then we'll go ahead and go to spellcasting. Um, he's going to cast this is a Nate spell. He's going to cast roll 3d6 before that made it. The maximum distance of move is halved. I can half movement. Oh, that would have been good to know. Uh, apparently the great shamans can half movement. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That would have been nice. Uh, 18 inch range. Um, but also I forgot, I'm going to rally these guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, they're coming back on 5. I'll get 1, 2, 3 guys back. Good roll. Um, one will be the horn guy, so I get plus one to my charge. They have to be within one inch of a model that was already in play. There we go. Which is an interesting rule because those units you of can't like string them anymore. No, yeah. but listen, like those units of forty of gro like grots or whatever and gets, people have been talking about like, oh, you get to rally on fours, which is true. But like, let's say you only had one or two guys left. Mm -hmm. You have to put the new unit that you're rallying, the model, within one inch of a guy that was already on the board. So even if you rolled a magical, you know, say 38, and you got 38 guys back, you could actually only put back into play uh -huh. like 15 to 17-ish, depending on how the math works. That's interesting. So you can't actually get back the whole unit if you're only down to a couple of dudes. We will go to spells. Yep. Um, I'm going to cast Mystic Shield. Just within 12, right? Holy within 12. Oh, then he's out. Yep. Um, I'll cast Mystic Shield over here on my... Yeah, roll for it and then pick. Yeah. Nope. Three won't do it. Three won't do it. I will cast his spell uh, on the Demonets to not pile in. Yep. I believe it's a seven. We'll check it out. No, nope. oh, four won't do it. Um, and then we will go to movement. You're a good spellcaster, bro. We'll be back after movement. All right, we're back. Um, so I moved these guys over. These guys came up. He redeployed, got a five, which was nice. Got away from me a bit. And then I moved everything into this corner because I'm going to try to knock him off that back, get rid of his general possibly. Um, these guys came over. I'm going to probably try to either kill these guys or the fiend here. Um, it's a Slangor, man. That's not a fiend. Whatever. Slangor, whatever. Um, this guy jumped down, got a nice five. Give the goat his due. The goat, like, he's, crab, gonna... he's a crab goat. And then uh, everybody moved. So uh, <laughs> we're just going to go straight into shooting here. I got ten dice ready to go. We're going to chuck some spears at these D-mats. We're hitting on fours. 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 Uh, so four at no red. Save none. Tail four demons. Oh, we'll pull the split we'll this pull unit. this four here. Yep. Charge a little harder. Still at plus one to charge, so I should be. And Gorzy got it too. Yep. So everybody's plus one to charge. Nice. And then we will go ahead to charges. That's it. So charges. Okay. Um, we'll start with these. Beast of course. Uh, I believe I need a seven, and that's with my plus one, correct? Yeah. You need a seven on the dice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, ten. you rolled the nine I needed last. I got ten. So we're gonna come try to take this objective from. It's me. always rough with the summoning. You get like thirty demonets, and then it's very rare that the charge actually happens, just because even statistically, it's hard for that to happen. And then you're like, oh, I got this big unit, and then it goes bye bye. And it's like, uh, you set up all these models and you spend all this time setting up the models and then they just disappear the next turn. <laughs> That's happened to me so many times. He's going to be just back behind this guy. And then these ones are going to make sure this darn guy goes bye-bye. Yeah, I don't think he's making it. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll do that. And then charging the Ungors to plus one. Well, oh, three, three won't do it. Well, we're going to stay there, I guess. I really wanted to take this objective from you. I mean, you're taking the objective. You're going to blow up all those demon nuts in a heartbeat. Yeah. They only do one damage. Um, they're one wound apiece out of five up safe. Uh, Gargant coming up. Their, their job is not to uh, be defensive, but to try and kill things. Let's see if I can get to your hero through this little crevice. I don't think your base fits through there. Oh, it sure does. Definitely does. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a narrow base. Nice catch your sword on his foot. Achilles cut. It's okay, this guy hasn't touched anybody and since, <laughs> since cargo pants were a thing. Um, we're going to go the big boy into the same unit. For five. He's going to just come. No, he's going to stay on the objective. I'm just going to stay on the objective, even going the full five. Yeah. And then I'm going to send the this unit here into your... You, the Beast Lord first? Yep, Beast Lord first. So I can... Uh, nine? No, I think I'm going to go into these guys, because they are... Uh, they're annoying. The fact that they can just fly and steal objectives. And they're more models, and they move faster. And then these guys coming right behind them. Uh, on a two-up, they'll fight last, so they can't run away. Yep, can't run away. Um, so maybe I just go with these guys that way. We'll see. Six. That's a nine. Six is here. Definitely go there. So. No, they don't. Look, yeah, they don't make it to this guy, so yeah. they go there. Okay. Um, and then... Charge phase done. Combat. Oh, when, when does the start of combat thing go off? That's when he piles in. Okay. So okay. I do have the mirror on a four. What's can't this? attack it. Can't mirror. attack it? Yeah. You can't attack until the mirror attacks. So you could attack it if you wait. I can't wait. Or else there's issues. Oh, and this is something I always forget because I haven't played a lot of demons lately. One moment, please. The old school Slanesh, when they have a demon in combat with you, something happens. I forgot to do this earlier in the game. This would have been a big deal. Locust of Diversion. At the end of the charge phase, so we're what starting is this combat. Happening? Why is this happening? Because you're within a demon. I'm within a demon. Within one inch of a demon. Any demon? A demon hero. Okay. No, yeah, that's a demon hero. Sure. On a five. You can't pile in. Well, that would have been. I would have not piled charged that guy if I had. Fine, no take one. him out of there. <laughs> it's what within three. It's one inch. It's within one inch of him. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I forget about it. <laughs> I don't. I don't play demons very often. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, there's no reason I would have charged him. Um, because I could pile towards him if I wanted to. But you can't attack him anyway. Yeah, yeah that ability works. Yeah, but I definitely wouldn't go with him. That's really good. Uh, you should have done that here. I forgot about it that way. I don't play demons very often anymore. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so they can't fly away. Keepers do it on a four. I have to kill as many of these things as possible. Um, so I'm going to go for that. I'm going to activate here first. Okay. Um, so we're going to go three. Um. If you can get the whole unit, then I can probably just pull the demon nuts. But I'll let you roll it out. Yeah, if I could have stopped your pile, that would have been brutal. Yeah. yeah. So two will be out. Uh, just one will be out, I think. So he's got two inch reach. We'll get that guy. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 guys. That's 20 attacks. And I'll, I'll add attack. So, how many did I say? 15? That's 30 attacks. Uh, 
three, six, eight, nine. Just roll the first 20 all the way through, and then... Four, five, six. Roll the other 10. Seven, eight, nine. Missing one, dice. Now these will be twos and threes. One miss. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Get out, dies, die. Okay. And then ten more. Uh, plus one. Okay. Eleven more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, six more until that. So 19? 19 dead. Five, eight, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Dude's dead. All right. Uh, them not getting it was huge because now I'm not going to have as many models on that objective. You have way more than I have. <laughs> yeah, but if you start killing some. Um, they're all done over there, so I can't attack with them. We'll go with these pain bringers. So my pile ins are kind of screwed here. Um, I can't pile out of coherency. So I don't even think I can really pile in much at all without losing coherency. So get two in there and one in here. Yep. So into this dude, threes, hits with one, wounds with one, and that's a mortal wound in addition. Yeah. Minus one rend. You have his, uh, he goes to seven. So he goes to nine, because he had eight. Yep. And then you have one save here at minus one. Six. Nope. Yep. So he goes to ten taken. And then over here we got threes, um, two sixes, so get more dice than we started with. And Oof. one six and one save. What does that mean? So one mortal wound and one save. Oh, it's an addition? Yeah. Uh, six. Oh, take two. Okay. It's the first time he's taken damage. I got it. So it's your go next. It's my go next. You've got these two guys. Yeah. And then the fight last. Which I'm just going to pull the, fur the Furies. Okay, right, so Furies are gone. They I'm dead. Pile into this guy. It's not even a question. I'm putting every attack into this guy. <laughs> okay. So that guy won't all out defense because I only have one command point remaining. While you do that, I'll finish this pile and move over here. You good. And this one over here. Alright. Just so if you guys are watching, you know, it's like after midnight. Threes here. and threes. Nope. Game went a little Five late. Attacks. Threes and threes. There we go. Threes. Uh, two at minus. It's like minus three. What's two the damage? Run. Two run. Two two run. Okay, two so run. I have sixes. Save one. Two damage. So two two wards to make. <laughs> one. <laughs> He's whiffed so hard. That's it. Two. I love this gargant. I love this. Just I two love damage. My gargant. Yes. Ah, oh, ward them both, and you take two more to wounds. Really. Really? Alright. Really, really. Okay. That was a good one. Okay. Alright. Um you don't have anything else attacking other than the Gorgon. Yeah. Why don't you just go with the Gorgon real quick and then I'll come back to over here. It doesn't change anything. Um I guess I wanna kinda roll this because I might be able to pull that guy into combat so he can't rally after. Because if I attack with them, oh, I guess he has to activate first. But if they were activating act last, so I'd have to activate with them first, probably wipe that unit, and then him pile. Roll it then. Yeah. I'll put the Furies back. Well, that's fine. You, you just had you had six Furies. There were two wins apiece? Yeah. 
four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's ten dice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus one. 11. Two wounds on a six up six. Six six. So this is these guys attacking. Yep. Because I don't have to do this fight with him first because they attack last. One. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage to the Furies. So um, they have 12 wounds total, so two dudes are still alive. Alright, so then the rest will go into that game. Okay, so Furies are dead. Yeah. So going to the mirror. Mirror piled in. Got nine attacks going into the Bestigors. Three, sixes explode. Um, if you're wondering why I keep saying that, it's so I remind myself. Um, no sixes, uh, get eight hits. Force, oh, I had a, a monster action. Wound. I'm going to stop. Yep, go ahead. And improve the... <laughs> another one. I have rolled all Five go ones. through at minus one rend under your best of gores. What? I'm Five just... saves at minus one. Uh, I'll... Did I? I'll, I didn't all... Did I? I'll attack them, right? Yeah. So I can't. Uh, five saves. Minus one. Save one. Uh, one damage each. And then coiled tentacles, Who's threes. Right now? This is the mirror. I got one six, and I hit with both, so I actually get three that go through so far. Four is to wound. Two go through at minus two. Two go through at minus two. Six. Save one, take one. Two damage. Not this guy. And then you have the Gorgon. Yep, so Gorgon will pile in here. I'll try to eat your hero and the leader. The leader and these three. So just roll three dice at the same time. This guy. I just get two dice because you are bracketed. Oh, okay. So need force. Uh, so your leader will be, and then um, all the attacks. I I can just pull the unit. Uh, probably. Sure? He's pretty bracketed. Is he? Okay. Go ahead. Or right. how much damage does he have left? Go ahead. Seven. They're three up saves, so I guess they do get saves. So he's six attacks. Six. Six attacks on fours and twos. It's still pretty good. <laughs> Not if you roll like that. <laughs> yeah. Twos. Oh, oh hey, I guess I, I guess I didn't need to pull them. Should have just let you pull Still it. losing half of them, though. Because of... Fours. And twos. All right, cool. Minus three rend. So one save. six damage. You get a save on that? Yeah. Three. There are three up save. I keep telling you. Right. Three up save. Six damage. Cool. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got one guy left. I still have one command point. So I might be able to keep them around, but probably keep the demon nuts around. And that way I can try and rally or something. Um, I couldn't pull them out of combat by killing them, so it is what it is. Um, how many demon nuts do I have there? Five? Yep. So I believe they're two, two attacks apiece. Uh, demon nuts. Uh, yes, two attacks a piece plus the leader, so that'll be ten attacks, eleven total. Um, this will be fours and fours, sixes explode. Um, when they're in a big unit, you get like double exploding sixes, which is pretty pretty cool. So one six and fours. So Yikes. three go through minus one. Five. Save two. One damage. And then those pain bringers. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So this is threes. Sixes explode. And then one, six. And three sixes do a mortal wound. Um, zero. What? Well, one mortal wound. And four saves at minus one rend. Take one, take three. Uh, one more pops. One, and another one. This guy. That's Do you have any command points? I have three. Still? Uh, Didn't you like all attack and stuff? I did all attack. I did not all defense. Okay. So I have two left. All right. So combat's done. So we have battle shock. That's right. I'll pass them. I will auto pass the demon nuts. Yeah, one, two, and then three, I got a roll five, for seven, the pain bringer. I rolled a one, so he's good. Five, eleven. Four plus one is five. That bravery this seven. guy that survived? Yep. I rolled a one. The time you want, I rolled a one. All right, so and then for scoring, you hold I have one. one objective. 
One objective. And then. And I hold. So then I roll the turn. One this objective. One off. <laughs> so I roll to turn this one off. Yeah, you roll to turn that one off. So you score three points because you got your battle tactic. Out of 13. Because you were eye for an eye. So. No, I was walk on this. Oh, you're walking that. Yeah, that's right. Um, so either way, you got three points, right? Mm -hmm. One point, and then that makes us tied up. 13-13. Right. And then you got to roll to see if that turns off. It does not. Yeah. It stays active. And then we priority. I got a three. I need one of these priority rolls. I had a one. Jeez. I won the priority again, and I will take the turn. So we'll be right back. Yep. Battle round four. All right, Slanesh, so round four, taking the turn. Um, I don't have any good battle tactics left. Um, can't desecrate, and everything else is very difficult to pull off. So I'm going to do a Slanesh one and Rapturing Blur. Pick a enemy hero, this one, who has no wounds allocated to him. I wish it was a Great Bray Shaman, but they have wounds. And I have to kill him by the end of the turn. Don't know that I can do it, but I'm going to try. So... When does that trigger, if I hurt myself on my hero phase, does that count as he has wounds? It's out? my turn, so I pick my battle tactic, and then you get to do your heroic so action ad, after I do all of mine. Okay, so that way. Because I do all my stuff, so you can't stop it by so trying to hurt, hurt yourself like right now. That would be weird. So, um, yeah. So that's the battle tactic. You can't just like stop it because you, you don't have wounds, and you can't do that right okay. now. Um... I will use a command point um, to rally these guys. So on fives, I get one back. I will rally these guys with four five days. I get three command points. Oh, I get a heroic ability too, right? Within one inch. So I'm going to push What'd you pick for your heroic? As far as I can. I'm going to do a command point. I got it. It'll be on my general, I think. No, it'll be on the mirror. I will do... And I do have 12 depravity. We counted at the end of the last turn, so I do get to summon again, if I want to. Alright, I'm going to heal... Alright, I guess I'm going to... De What's that guy's? Four wounds? Three, three wounds. Three wounds? I'm going to hurt myself. No, but you kill me, then I really don't do a great job. Um, I'm going to... Let's see what these guys are in range. They're not 12 inches to that guy. Uh, I will not bring him into range. Okay. When I rally him. All right. Um, I will go for a command point on my general. Okay. Actually, I'll heal. I'll heal this guy. Okay. It's at five. I get it. D3. Oh, that's the first one. Five. Sure. Um, so he was at five, so he's going to go... And then I will Hmm I think I just leave it there Cool uh, I'll go for I can't, can't do it extra point. Okay I'll end it there Alright So Hysterical Frenzy from the mirror I will get it on a 12 You get it Cool How many guys are left in your unit there? Five, five, six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Eleven. Eleven? Five, uh, eight, ten, eleven. So sixes do D3 mortal wounds. Well, at the beginning of your turn, don't you have to turn on objectives? I do. So we'll do that after we finish resolving this. So I got three sixes, so three D3. So seven mortal wounds to the best of course. Yeah. And then for turning on objectives... Um, this one's already on. You control that one. You control that one. So it's just that corner objective. And it does turn back on. Which one? The corner. Perfect. I need that. It's the only one that I control. So um, You did the mortal wounds, and then I have one more spell. So let's do... Um, probably not within 24. No. So we'll do Mystic Shield. Stop Get on it. a six. Or you want to keep it or you want to reroll? No, I'm going to keep a six. I'm not going to chance failing it. Stop. Cool. stop it. You stopped it. So no Mystic Shield, and we'll go to movement. Okay. 
Okay, and we're back from movement. These Slangor moved over here. You redeployed onto the objective. These guys came over here. We're going to try and off that Beast Lord. These guys retreated. Um, if you're not aware, once I have enough depravity, which I did not bring in the Keeper yet, um, but I, I get the two inches of movement at the start of the hero phase, and then I'm going to go to zero depravity to bring in a Keeper. And I'm actually going to bring it in over here because I want to make sure I get my... Um, what should we call it? Battle tactic. Well, it's holy within. You can't just summon it anywhere. It has to be within that, right? Holy within twelve of it. This is way holy within twelve, but I'll measure it for yeah. you. Holy within twelve. Yeah. So, um, from there, um, these guys all moved up. Try and get rid of the bestigors and maybe wrap up the game if I can do so. So I have uh, one command point remaining. And let's go to charging. So we'll start with this Slangor here. He will be in. We'll go to the Painbringers. Um, nope. They will not be in. That sucks. Um, I don't think I kill him if that happens. So I wanted to use the fight twice from the Keeper because I only have one command point. But if I get the Keeper in, that'd be great. But that's What's like a 10 inch charge. Keeper, it's got to go wrong. It's like a 10 inch charge. Because I, it's long, whatever it is. So six plus five, so eleven. So we'll re we'll reroll it. I'm gonna use the reroll here. So um, pain bringers going in. We'll get it now. The eleven I needed for the keeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get a big turn. It's I don't 11. think he can charge actually. Because this part of the space has to go around this. That's eleven. You're right. It's an 11. It's like 11 I, I measured a straight line and a straight line. So 6 plus 5 is 11. And he got a 4, so he's not making it in. So let's go with uh, Sigvald. A 5. Leave room for the Gargant. Gargant. Nope. A 3. I, I was just moving quick. He should have been outside of 3, but it's fine. No. Um, Painbringers, five. They retreated, didn't they? Not these ones. They oh. moved off that objective. Okay. The demonettes retreated. So they will get in there. So um, Sigvald fights first. So we've got five attacks, hitting on twos, sixes explode. Got two ones and two sixes. So back to starting. Threes to wound. Um, four wounds at minus three because of the Gargan. So, four D3. So, wow, spiked at 12. Okay. And then we're going to go over here, and I think the Slangor can do it, I hope. So, we'll find out. Um, maybe I should start with the Painbringers. I don't know. The Slangor has more uh, rend. Or is it the same? No, it's the same run. So he's two damage, five attacks. These are three, four, five, six, seven. Minus one, and they do mortal wounds. I I guess we go with them, but his save is worse. So if I don't kill him with them, I need to go with him. So um, this will be fours. A lot of defense. Yep. Um, hit with all. Uh, I don't get the exploding six, though, because he's not. Heat knights and threes. Five. Mm -hmm. Or four, I'm sorry. Four at minus one. Um, so I'll leave back to fours. And nope. that'll do it. So I'll be slower to go because there nope. are two damage. He comes each. back on a three up. Oh, he has that? Yep, and he'll come back on a three up with D3 moon. Through two wounds. Okay. Well, it is what it is. It's your go. Though they're in combat. So I'm going to activate him to activate them as well. I didn't want to drag them in, but it's fine. Um, I mean, it would have been easy enough to just do this. but You're fine. If you want, pull it back. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't trying to bring them in. It's not my intention. The intention was to attack the Beast Lord and not have them in. We're just moving quick. It's like almost 1 o'clock here <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Um, and then that'll be five. All into him? Yeah. Because can you even get to me? Yeah. 
They have two inch reach? No, one inch, but two of them will get in. I mean... Oh, one will get in, right? Just one will get in. Why? He moves to there, and then he's got a one inch reach. What's their save? Three. Yeah, let's go over here. Then. Yeah. I'll pile in this way. And put everything in the room. Uh, threes and threes. Sixes go straight through. Uh, two mortals. Mm -hmm. Pop one. That'll be three at minus one, two, three, four end. Cool. They're dead. You got your guy. I failed my battle tactic. You just want to pull that last bestigor? Yeah, you did. So, I found my battle tactic, I score three points, so it'll be 16 to 13 going into Beasts of Chaos. Um, and then we got to roll points. to deactivate objectives. So, see this one? Uh, start with that one over there, deactivated. And, uh, that one there, deactivated. deactivated. <laughs> the corner one, Still. activated. So there's one objective active and it's this one in the corner. Okay, start my turn though, this is to activate. Uh, we'll go, we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. Um, I'm gonna do eye for an eye, kill a unit. I'm gonna finest hour my general. I will then go ahead to heroic actions. I will um, go for an extra man point up. Beast guy? Nope. And then I will. Spells? Do I wanna do an extra one? No. You really just had what, Mystic Shield and no pylons, which is not really no. in range. Uh, Mystic Shield's not in range for them. I can half movement in 18 inch range. Keeper's just outside. Yep. Everybody's just outside. Yeah, so there's not really anything to do. Um, Alright, so I will go Get ahead. Arcane Bolt. Arcane Bolt on this guy. Hey, 10. It's all yours. All right. Well, I'm going to put this on. Cool. Um, and then this guy with Mystic Shield. The guy that just got Arcane Bolt. Yeah. So Did you want to use any of your beast's heroic things? No, you I don't think there's any that I want to use here. Okay. Because um, he's going to take damage and nobody's near him. So we will then uh, be back after movement. Uh, turning on, uh, we're going to do... At the end uh, the after movement, uh, we're going to go ahead and bolt him. Bolt him for one damage. Cool. Um, by the way, we did roll for the objectives, and none of them turned none on. None of them turned so on. So the these four are off. The corner is the, the corner only one. The corner is the only objective that's on right now. Um, so then from there, I'm going to go to charges because I don't even shoot him. Um, we'll go ahead and go. Just roll some threes, man. Yeah. We'll start with the Beast of Gores. That's yours. We'll get a six. You're good. Yep. And then we'll go big boy on the left. My left, six. I want him to go towards the back. I mean, this is as far as he goes. This is the edge of the battlefield. Oh, that is. Well, then put him on the other side. Because if I, I'm going to try to eat him, and if I do, I want to pile on your general. He's the best day ever. Gargant. Uh, we'll get a nine. The guy will go in. Um, and just want to make sure you do three. Spike broke Spike off. Spike horn. Yeah, he's really flimsy. Um, cool. Monstrous actions. Stomp your general. Okay. Can I? I'm gonna do it with this one because the the other guy rolled one on every stomp. Hey, you Yay. did it. One. <laughs> All right. Take six one. one. Um, and then the other one will do. No command abilities on your general. Roar. Get it. Okay. All right. I will go ahead to pylons and attacks. I will start with... This guy actually does damage. Just start with the best of cores and I'll pull the slang core. All right. I'll start with the best of cores. You pull the slang core. Thank you. We'll make it easy. So I'll go with the uh, generals while he's alive into the Gargant. Fives, uh, well, threes to hit. One explosion, 
threes. One goes through at minus one run. Six up. Get two. Two damage. So he's up to six taken. Six taken. So now he's bracketed. Uh, cool. Now, do you want to start with the Gorgon and then eat this guy, or yeah. do you want to start with uh, him? I'm going to start with the Gorgon. To it's pile. after you pile in. So, yeah. so I'm going to start with the Gorgon, pile in. Okay. Uh, on a four, he'll eat that guy. He oh. does not eat him. Cheat. Um, I will put... What is your range on your attacks? Two inches. Okay, so you can get whatever you want under the general. How much wounds does he have left? Uh, two or three. I'll put everything into the general. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'll put my maw into the general mm -hmm. and my blades into the other guy. All right. Um, so the blades will be, how many wounds do I have left? You have seven taken. Six attacks. Because you healed. Yep. So six attacks. And this will be, I'm going to... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I could improve his rent. That doesn't matter. All right. Um, these will be fours and twos. Do I all attack with my last command point? I think I do. All attack. So these will be threes and twos. Going into your general. Or, no, going into your other guy. Actually, I'm going to take two and put them in your general. So four into the other guy. Threes. Twos. Two at minus one, two, three, four rent. Four rend? Yeah, so I'm getting two from here, he's one from here. He's dead. Yeah, and then the two attacks in your general. Threes, double ones, fours. This is the maw? Yeah, this is the maw. Okay. Um, so let's hit, and twos. So two at minus four, yeah. Damage? D6. Five. Six I make one and bounce a mortal, and then That's he it. dies. Yep. Yeah, finest hour didn't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. Rend four. Rend, rend out the wazoo. So your turn ends. You score five. Five. Uh, You're up 15 one. to 13. So. Oh, uh, no, I score five, so I'll be 17, right? Or 18, because I'm at 13 right now. Oh, so... What was I at? 16 then? So 18 to 16? Am I getting the points wrong? I don't know. Because I'm down by two. Whatever it is, I'm okay. down by two. So 18 to 16. Priority roll for round five. I rolled a six. <laughs> I don't even want to win the priority. <laughs> I do, but I don't. Three. Just saying that because it's almost 130. So, oh, wait. Uh, we rolled the turn off objectives, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so roll to turn that one off. Or what about this one on? No, just that one. No, just that one off. Get a six. So it stays on. Um... And then we'll go into round five for Slanesh. Okay. So, um... We'll be back. Round five. Battle round five. This one's for all the marbles. Desecrate their lands. It's going to be very easy. It's going to control this house here. And then uh, we got a roll to turn back on objectives. So, um, the two I control in the corner. So, we'll start with this one here. Um, I should have piled in the mirror, and then it would have gone off on a three, but instead it's going to be a four because I didn't pile in the mirror, so it does not. And then the corner one, it does. So that corner one is on. So the most I can score this turn is three, which is guaranteed. So I'll move those demonets over there. I'll move the pain bringers over here to this house, and then I will score three points. And then I will be down by two still, and you will be able to get your battle tactic. So... Um, you'll win the game unless the objectives turn off on you. So let's go to Beasts of Chaos round five. So okay. on your turn, uh, you got to roll to turn them on. So on a three? Nope. Nope. And then on a three? Nope. Nope. So you have the one there. Oh, I have to roll to see if that turned off at the end of my turn. Why oh, no, I don't. Turn? You control oh, it. I yeah, control you control it. it. So never mind. So, so um, I think I just win by two. Because you win by two? Um, I'm not going to complete my grand strategy. I'm just going to. What was your grand strategy? I know you just desecrate. The hearthstone. Here. You have to get to the hearthstone. Yeah. So, um, you win by five because of that. So, okay. great game, man. Great game. Yeah. Uh, wow. Sorry, guys, for mistakes. Yeah, it's Let really late. <laughs> we both work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, Thank and uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, the first time with Beasts Out. Yeah. It, it was a very tight game the whole way through, and that was that was fun. There's a lot I'm interested in playing with, but I think. I mean, even though mine couldn't hit a, a, a fly with a, a 
a seven by eight. Board. The other one did good. The other one did good. <laughs> but uh, uh, I really, that's probably one of my favorite units. That extra minus one is pretty ridiculous with the, with the hearthstone as I well. I don't even know if you need it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I need it. You definitely, it definitely did dividends. I mean, I have three up saves and I'm not saving. Yeah. Like, I can't, like, I'm not even saving because yeah. you have so no, much run. It's very interesting. Uh, that was like, a great game. Yeah. Um, but we appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day and or night. And uh, we'll uh, see you around. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more AOS content.